Welcome to Seven Sided Die's Carpathian Adventure. Travel back 700 years to the early 1300s. Castles like this dot the countryside. The Hungarian Empire or Carpathian Empire is at its zenith. The nascent Ottomans are on the rise, but neither Holy nor Roman nor an empire. Holy Roman Empire battles within. England and France fight one another. As the Templars recede into history, the Teutons are on the rise. Welcome to the Carpathian Adventure. This was a great hall. There would have been a roaring fire. It would have been adorned with gothic windows. This might be where our adventuring party might gather. Let's meet them. My name is Virexen. I am a monk who was exiled into Greece after fleeing my homeland. I was sent on a quest via a dream I received. I went in search of great heroes I saw in the dream to help stop some monstrosity from wreaking havoc across the world. I found those heroes in the Champions of the Sun. Now I strive to gain their trust so they can one day help me defeat the vile beast that threatens everything. I am Kip Kaelin, Ranger of the North, and I am lost, hailing all the way from Garen in Scotland. I have faced great tragedy, losing all those dear to me. I am haunted by that fateful night and what was taken from me. I face defeat at every turn, attempting to enact revenge on those that did this to us. And when all my strength, resources, and allies, save for my trusted wolf Lycoa, was depleted, I stumbled upon the Champions of the Sun at the Battle of Sagut. I decided to ally myself with these seemingly capable and worthy adventurers to aid me in putting the loss to rest. It is what she would want, or so she seems to indicate. I am Balder, a Norseman, a soldier, and an eldritch knight. I left my home to leave politics behind, only to be dogged by it across Europe. I first met the Champions of the Sun outside a small town in Hungary. Together, we battled Ottoman raiders and vampires. The Champions gave me purpose again, and where it takes me, I know not, but I know I want to be a part of it. My name is Jumnus Dawnflower. I used to be a merchant sailor until I was shipwrecked on a strange island and killed in a sacrificial blood ritual. In the moment between life and death, an otherworldly goddess of light came to me, offering me a second chance at life if I swore to enact her will upon the world. Now I travel with the champions of the sun, looking to right wrongs, vanquish evil, and earn the new life I've been given. I am Borinth, the cave bear. I come from a tribe of barbarians that once lived in the mountains of the Badenweiler. While on my sacred spirit quest, my tribe and family were attacked with none left alive. I now seek the power to avenge my people. With my rage, I grow stronger. And with the champions of the sun, I seek a path to restore and preserve my people's culture and rid this world of any evil that stands in my way. Aha! Hello, friends! You can call me Luvia Moreau. I come from the beautiful country of France, of course! Traveling as a salesman, banished from my home, where by the hand of my twisted sister, my father was killed, and I was implicated. Mon dieu, how low I've come. But in that law, I found the champions of the sun. Although they may not smell like sweet wine, they are honorable. Uh, mostly. <laughs> I am Matthias, of the House of Bathory, Knight Baron of Carpathia. With my traveling companion, Ambrio, I was dragged into a whirlwind path 
by a rogue monk. But those I have met since then have earned my respect and, more importantly, my trust. Welcome to the Carpathian Adventure. Welcome, I'm Tom. Thank you for joining us. We're a group of gamers who get together in real life to play Dungeons and Dragons. Some of us are military, some are in construction, IT, others retail managers, a few are parents, students, etc. So we do this strictly for fun. We hope you enjoy it nonetheless. There were quite a few thank yous in our open, except one, you. We would like to thank you, our Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook followers and our YouTube subscribers and our Periscope viewers. Thank you for joining us. To have those who have not already, please follow us on Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, and on Twitter's Periscope. Please like on YouTube and on Facebook, and of course, please subscribe on YouTube. If during the stream you follow on Twitch or if you subscribe on YouTube, your username will pop up on the screen. Please know that during the stream, some of us are watching the stream, in particular, some of us are watching Twitch. So please feel free to comment or ask questions while live. We will endeavor to answer those questions if they are appropriate. To all of our subscribers, thank you. What happened the last episode? The party has been making their way via Sagut, Constantinople, Floire, Venice, and on to the Untersberg Mountain in the, on the northern side of the Alps. Crossing Trent and the Tyrol, they entered the Archbishopric of Salzburg. Finally descending from the Alps, the party made their way to another castle, Schloss Hohenwerfen. There they met with the Prince Archbishop himself, Gephard of Salzburg. After learning of the vampire, Osman Ghazi, and so that they might elevate their information higher, the Prince Archbishop said he would give the party a letter of introduction to the Holy Roman Emperor though he would leave the name of the Emperor Nebulus. As there is some question as to who that is, Louis IV of Bavaria or Frederick the Fair, the Duke of Austria and Styria. The Archbishop also gave them a letter of introduction to the Pope as well. However, and again, Gephard did not indicate a name, as there is a Pope John XXII in Avignon and an anti-Pope Nicholas V formerly Pietro Rinalducci, supposedly in Nuremberg. In the castle's Burgrand Tavern, the par party met with a lady named Nebenabentur, who said her family had been captured and were being held hostage. To release them, she needed to retrieve a chest from the Holland salt mine just outside of Salzburg. She solicited their help and agreeing, perhaps reluctantly, with Nebenabin Tour in tow, the party finally descended from the mountains on the northern side of the Alps. Crossing the rolling hills about a day south of Salzburg, the party came upon the ruins of a church. Having had a premonition regarding such a place, Zyman advocated bypassing the church and continuing on. However, the party decided to explore. <laughs> Inside the church, the party found more questions than answers and lots of spiders. Finding a room with two gargoyle statues and a large mirror, they examined the room in the mirror itself. Suddenly, from inside the mirror, two gargoyles shot toward the surface, went invisible, emerged from the mirror, and attacked the party. Morton Ferry fired one, and the combined efforts of the party damaged it. We rejoined the party in the midst of the battle with what appeared to be animated and invisible gargoyle. Well, one's ferry fired. Animated and invisible gargoyles. Gentlemen, welcome back. Is everything working so far? It's so good. Yeah. Well, welcome back. Everybody have a good couple weeks? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Where did we leave off? We are at the top of round two, I believe. I believe we're at the top of round two and not at the, the particular round. Also, uh, <laughs> since when you were here last time, I didn't really have... There was some kind of like what it looked like outside. So this isn't exactly what it looks like, but it was a picture that I found. It's good. Kind of kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like with one the main session missing its missing missing its <laughs> roof 
And then there's like a built up section that doesn't really show the additional building portions off to the, the side where the tower would be. You guys would be, I guess, looking at this, it's probably like this is the tower portion right here, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. I can fly all the way up that high. I'm sorry? It explains why they can go all the way up that high. Yeah, I was trying to describe it, and a picture sometimes is worth uh, the cliche. You know how many words. <laughs> okay, and so we're... On that note, the, the, it is the top, and the opponents uh, are up at the top of the round, followed by Zyman, Mattias, Morton, then Balder. And then if Borns shows up, we'll have him roll initiative as well. Okay, first, the one right in front of you, Balder, is the one who is somewhat injured. He appears, and I believe he's fairy fired, is correct, right? That's the one you were swinging on? Uh, yes. He is going to try and break for the mirror. Uh, I will attack him as he goes. Yeah, okay, you have an attack of opportunity? Yes, hold on one second. Yeah. Natural 20. Oh! <laughs> way to too start bad. the game, man. Too bad for the, for the gargoyle. Uh, maximum damage. <laughs> Which would be... What is it? 28. Well, it would just be 8, right? So it would be uh, 13. 13 points of damage? Yeah. Oh, don't say hell on. No. Eight main cards. Uh, I hate the maximum damage card. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. So the total was 13 points of damage? Yeah. <laughs> Instead of double damage, I got you. Okay. Because um, they have, like, double and triple and stuff. Correct me if I'm wrong. As a but sentinel, it... he's pinned in place. Uh, when a creature within five feet of you makes a... Creatures provoke opportunity attacks even if they take disengage action. Uh, yeah. yeah. It comes zero. He can't move. Okay, then in that case, he's going to swing it way at you because he, if he can't get away. So he is going to... Oh, oh, obviously, his movement sucked. Too bad. Actually, he's going to do two claws. His two claws come in and they come screeching in and to claw away at you. At the same time, he opens his mouth and he lets out a hideous... As he, he's like, <laughs> and then he screeches away. <laughs> With the screech <laughs> and the frightening scream, everybody in the room, uh, roll a wisdom save, DC 16. Oh, is this a, a quick question? No. What? A fumble <laughs> card for him, please. He, two claws dig away at nope. you. One fumble, and one of them he rolls a natural one. What was the DC? Uh, DC 16, 16 oh, on the wisdom save. <laughs> is that what it is, wisdom? Yes, sir. Uh, 16, I just made it. Oh, awesome. Okay, anybody not make it? Reiner? Matthias, DC 16 wisdom save, and did you save? Yes, 19. Okay, for those who saved, take 18 points halved, take 9 oh. points of psychic damage. Ooh. What'd you say? I got a natural 16, so... 16, you take 9 points of psychic damage, which is half damage. That's without um, my... my uh... Yeah, that, that natural 16, so... Okay, cool. With his one claw, he has to roll a DC 10 con check or be stunned. And he and he rolls a natural 10 without even looking at his con. Okay. What's this? Okay, so nine damage. The gargoyle fumbled, I think. Yes, yeah, oh, he fumbled. fumbled. And scream? No, uh, his claws. Oh, his claws. His claws, yeah. his claw, he fumbled and he struck himself. <laughs> I hate and when that happens. <laughs> So okay. The wings kind of wasn't working right. Yeah. Kind of That's really about it. You knocked them off. Kilter. Okay, really. if you could just stick that back yeah, in the pile just... somewhere. Okay, and the other one, he's in front of Mattias and 
who's over there? I'm over there, unfortunately. Uh, let me see. <laughs> One me. Well, <laughs> the, uh, the bard is in the doorway, and the Mattias, you were swinging at him, correct? What happened to the lady? She's down. Uh, you're you're floor. muted. Mathias. You were swinging at one, correct? With your sword? Yes. Yeah, so well, he's standing over the unconscious young lady. Uh, yeah. She's kind of behind you, but yes. He's going to go ahead and claw, claw, uh, bite you. One claw, natural 20. And oh, a. It's going to be one of them games. <laughs> a. It's a bad one, too. A. It's the one that you wanted? Mac, no, it's Max. A 19 does not hit, and a. With the bite and the other claw with a 14, I like showing a 22. Nine, so one you got one. two claw hits, one yeah, of them a critical. Them, one of the claws one comes slicing <laughs> into your head. It does maximum damage, which is a lot. your claw. Ouch. You take 26 oh points of slashing damage from this claw, and you must make a DC 10 Con save or be stunned with the other claw. It's these things are wicked vicious. Right, no. going in the other room. You take eight. <laughs> I'm down to ten. <laughs> eight and uh, see ya. You take fourteen I points from the other the claw. <laughs> so twenty-six. You took a total of forty points. Ow. You got that. Reiner? Uh, I, took, I took how many points? 40 points, sir. 40 <laughs> points, and you have to make a DC but 10. I'm unconscious. You're unconscious, and you have to make a DC 10 con save. Oh, it's not like a room. No, well, you don't have to make the con save if oh, you're unconscious, so. Sorry. Okay. Uh, it is Zyman. You are up, followed by Mattias Morton Balder. Oh, I will cast invisibility on myself. Okay, you are invisible. I don't have a. Any of those cool mark tokens. That would be it for me. Okay. Um, more. Mattias, death saving throw, sir. And then Morton, you are up. All right. Where's Borinth? We Come need on. you. We need him. <laughs> Where's your axe? <laughs> The one who can do 95 damage in one hit. On Treat an axe, we're back. So you're good. You made your death saving throw. Okay. Um, that's Mattias. Morton, you are up. Morton looks at, uh, which is the one that's very fired, I, I believe guess. believe this one right here. All right. So what I'm going to do is he's going to do a shatter spell. He's going to just raise his voice. He's like, ah! It looks pretty badly damaged, too. <laughs> And uh, let's see. He's got to do a uh, con save. And is he made out of stone or inorganic metal or whatever? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, is, is, which is is it favorable that he is? It's well favorable for me because he's I mean. at disadvantage. Sure. So oh, I'll say sure. Why not? Okay. So he's at disadvantage then. Yep. He was kind. I guess he was kind of stone, right? Okay. So he's got disadvantage and he's got to make a con save. And what's the DC? Uh, 16. He rolls an 18 and an 11, and his con is oh, way too good. He, oh. <laughs> he, he makes it, but he takes damage still, correct? Uh, Does he not? Half as much. <laughs> well, let me roll the half damage. Six damage. Okay, he's definitely looking hurting between what you guys did last round. Okay, that is Morton Balder. You are up. Anything else? Yeah, hold on. I'm going to throw yeah, I'm sorry a, about that. On a bonus action, I'm going to throw a healing word on Mattias to get him up. <laughs> what do you do to him? Oh, up. Nine points of damage. Uh, nine points skill. <laughs> So, Mattias, you are up at nine hit points. Mattias, well, I don't know if you're up. You're, you're conscious, rather. You're prone, but you can get up the next round there. Anything else? How That's all I could do. How many hit points do I have above zero, then? Nine. Nine. Okay. And, Balder, you are up. How, how high up are they? 
there's well, this one right in front of you is he's pinned right there in front of you. He oh, tried man. to get away. I don't have smaller pedestals. That's fine. Uh, the one um, was, they're they're down low. You I can swing at them, them, or and you did swing at them. He yeah. was trying to get out of your I will sphere because he was pretty wounded. Nineteen to hit plus nine. That definitely hits. Oh yeah. How much damage are we talking here? Six. Uh, plus five is eleven. And then plus another d eight. So 12 damage to him. 12 damage. You hear this screeching howl. It doesn't sound like that last one. I'm not going to have that play. <laughs> and he falls to the ground and he like shatters in, in like all shards. And they look almost like glass as he shatters. <laughs> and explodes apart. And it, is that one high up? He's about the height of a human. The, okay, the, I can you, hit him. I'll oh, move yeah, in. yeah, move yeah. In. You, in. Yeah, you move. You thrust yourself forward. It's only 10 feet. I'm sure you've got at least 30. Yeah. And so. you getting it from the back, as a matter of fact, so you have oh, advantage. Yeah, oh, you got advantage. Oh. That's good. So then that would be 25 to hit. 25 hits. Nice. And that does... He was five, unscathed six, so far. Seven damage. Seven damage. He is still up. Ah, he feels your hammer slam into his back. Anything else? Uh, that's it. Barnt, where are you? <laughs> it's the top of round three. He, he's he got... Mattias is prone. He's got somebody swinging at the back of him. I'm going to say one, two, three, four. He's going to take the guy who's going at his back. And he's got one other guy standing around, oh, five, six, the guy who's standing. He turns and he goes after, well, you get an attack of opportunity on him, uh, Balder. Yeah, Swing away. He's going to try and go for Morton there. 26 to hit. 26 hits. And so he didn't move out of your spear. He is pinned there. Seven damage. Seven damage, and he. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> huh? And he has been there, so he's gonna claw, claw, bite you, sir. No. No. What do you mean, no? He can't. Yes. Not with your armor class, but he's gonna try anyway. <laughs> he's got a chance. A three. I love, your, I love no. your feet, by the way. Okay, look at these balls. I love your feet, by the way. No way. A three. A five and a four, even with his wickedly good bonuses. These claws go whoosh, whoosh, and he just like, <laughs> you can feel it scraping against your armor and it does absolutely nothing. kind of holding him back. <laughs> He's trying to bite my face. No. He see, is there I anything like, else he can do? No, he I like this feat so far. Bite. Because I'm not really a tank because I don't do like the damage that Brian does. Right. But it lets me get a lot of opportunities to do the little damage I do. But you got some good if battlefield. If I stay in the middle of them. But you got some good control. battlefield control, like which is what you need. Oh, it's a great, I like it. It's a great pinning. Yeah, yeah I like it. It's phenomenal. It's, it's perfect for... A I've never used feats until you suggested it, and I was like, I'll give well, it a shot. <laughs> I'll give it a shot. I like I, it. I just thought it was a... There's one feat in particular, not to... Is lucky, I think, is... A little bit on this is Tom's opinion, and I know the world's going to disagree, and I know everybody at the table may disagree, but lucky in my opinion with a long rest being one day, three re-rolls per day is, is uh, a little OP, but that's my opinion. All the others, I think, are awesome, but I think with the long rest now the way it is, lucky's fine, but anyway, that's my opinion. Okay, that was the opponents. Zyman is up. Three a day when you might only have one big fight, that's a lot of re-roll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I will. I just go again. <laughs> you get four if you're a half. Move off and, and grab <laughs> Nebin and try to pull her yeah, back <laughs> around the corner. Okay. And try to stabilize her. Okay. Roll. Medicine. Um, roll a medicine check. Or roll a uh, a. a Do you have uh, medicine proficiency? Yes. Sure, roll a medicine check. 13. 13. You think she is stable. She appears to be... She was like on her last gasp, and then she... She got slightly got up when Morton healed her last time, but then all of a sudden this screech came, and 
and uh, was taking her down again. <laughs> okay, and anything else? Uh, no, that's it. I'm okay, Mattias, on. you are at nine hit points and you are prone. You can stand for half your movement. There's one I with know. its one with its back to you, about five to seven feet in front of you. I will charge forward and use both my attacks to try and uh, fight the thing off. Okay, and you have advantage attacking it from the rear, flank slash rear. Okay, so my first attack is a 22 to hit. 22 hits! Uh, okay, and that is a d8. Uh, Fourteen damage. Fourteen damage. Your sword slashes into this tough creature that feels like something between stone and glass. Still up. Okay. And then I will make a second attack. Okay. That is a... <laughs> um, 28 hits. 28 hits. Nice. They all go up by a die. And the damage is... Sixteen damage. Sixteen damage. Oh, it's devastating. If your sword tears into the glass, you can feel it biting away as if it's crunching into bottles or mirrors or something like that. But it's still up. Anything else? No, that's it for me right now. I think you do have, just keep in mind, you don't have to use it. I think you have a skill called Second Wind, I believe, that gives you heal if you wanted to use it. You know what? I will do that. Uh, any uh, area that uh, is uh, not against. Except for anybody? Plus nine hit points, actually. Oh, Friday. Oh, oh, boy. So, rolling it. Uh, While he's doing that, Morton, you I are up. Can I spend an inspiration to re-roll? Uh, you, you can, sure. If you, yeah, sure. Yes, please. Uh, okay, okay. Um, so re-rolling okay. by... I am up. For any uh, saving throw. I get, I have another, I get eight plus nine, so 17 hit points from that. Okay, so 17, okay, cool, awesome. You're up to like 26 or something like that. Okay. And he's back. He's back in the fight. Morton is up. Boulder is on deck. All right, Morton's going to take a step back and get out of the way of these people a little bit. And he's going to send out two streams of notes out to slam into him using mm -hmm. an Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Sick guitar riff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's a 20 and an 18. Uh, they both hit. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yay. Here, <laughs> two blasts slam into it. Uh, 10 points of damage total. 10 points. It is still up, but he's not looking good. God, that's so average. You're so average? <laughs> so, oh, you're so average. You're yeah, cool. What do you want? I'm a bard. And anything else, Morton? Uh, nope, that'll be it. Boulder, you are up. Math joke. <laughs> All right, I will attack. Green Flame Blade. Oh, almost 20, but 23 to hit. 23 does hit. And then we get a two. A two plus. Just a three, five, ten damage. Oh, okay. I thought you were right. <laughs> ten. This is so. Your hammer is it when you the green, the green flame is magical. But is the ham the, ha the hammer is not okay. So it's what was is it all regular damage or? Uh, it doesn't specify. I don't think it actually causes. It's like, not magical fire damage. Magical. So it's just bludgeoning. It's just damage. bludgeoning. Okay. He I is... think the only time it does different damage, I believe, is the one that leaps off. And hits another person when there's someone near okay, him. Okay, that would be that, magical. I think it's, I that think would it be states, magical damage. Yeah. Okay, so the regular hammer damage is straight bludgeoning, non-magical damage. Up a level. Okay. Okay, it's fire. It's fire damage. Which is the uh, one that jumps the off. The one that jumps off. Right. The other one is normal effects. Okay. Okay. Understood. Okay, he took some damage. He appears to still be up though, and you still have a sense that 
like you did last time that doesn't do as much as it might normally yeah. as some other weapons might do. I'll make Anything another else? attack. You got another one. Go for it. No. <laughs> Twelve to hit. No. You whoosh, your hammer swings by and he's he's still in your zone of control, but he's trying to flap it around at the same time. Alright. Anything else? That is it for me. Boulder, where's Boren? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the call goes out. <laughs> I'm swinging my hammer, looking around the room. Corinth, <laughs> where the heck are you? The opponent is up. He is holding him by his. He wings. realizes he doesn't have a choice. He's got to fight. This guy he can't get away from him at this point. So, are he, is he stupid? Uh, no, he's not. He's not real stupid. But thank you okay. For Huh? I said, but thank you for checking. Yeah, uh, maybe he would try. But he's going to use two claws, and he's going to scream away. Oh! And... So he's dive bombing. <laughs> I hope I'm far enough away from this one. <laughs> Ears are bleeding at this point. <laughs> He sounds like a Stuka dive bomber with a pilot from a horror movie. <laughs> I'm going to make a wisdom scene. Okay, yes, everybody who's in the room at this point. Uh, Morton, I'll give you a 50-50 shot. Roll a d6. One, two, three, you're in the room. Four, five, six, you're not. I'm in the room. Okay, so roll the, everybody in the room. Morton. Good for me. Morton, uh, Mattias, and Balder take, make a wisdom save. DC 16. So no bueno for me. No bueno for... No bueno for me. No bueno for you. Okay, uh, so, ooh, lousy roll go. 19. 19, good for you. Uh, uh, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, 14 if you failed, 14 psychic damage, 7 Mattias if you succeeded. Lousy roll on their part. Okay, and then his two claws. Okay, not 20, one card, and a three, which is a miss, even with his bonuses. Yeah, I'm so, those cards tonight. Uh, <laughs> in internal injury. He's, this one claw goes ripping through you, Boulder. Seven, and he, seven wait. damage on the side. I hear somebody. Oh, wait, how much, oh wait, how much one, damage was it on the psychic? Seven. A 14. 14, 14. 14, oh, yeah. 14, 14 if you fail. 14 if you fail. Uh, the target takes an additional... Okay. Damage. Now he got a 20 and a what? A 3. Oh, okay. The target okay. takes an additional 1d8 hit points of damage per round until healed. Okay, so you oh, take... Boy. So you take... <laughs> That's the <rough>. normal damage. <laughs> That's not great. Plus a d8. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, just one weapon, though. Uh, what... Uh, what was it here, Tom? There. Uh, there's two of those. You can't stop that. Okay. Uh... Uh, 21, and then 5 points from the internal injury bleeding, so 26 uh, points of damage. If you could shove that back in the you betcha. in the deck somewhere, please. Do I need to hold on to that? Yes. Uh, you can, yeah, why don't you hold on to it, so just you remember it. Fair condition. Any cure wounds? Yep. Just to see what condition your oh, condition you is. Have those. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is the opponent. Zyman, you are up. It is the... It is the top, it is round four, I believe. Simon, I'm gonna just barely <laughs> poke my head around the corner fix me. and decide I don't, I don't want any of that. But <laughs> shoot something at him. You can't shoot, shoot a bolt or something. Then I won't be invisible anymore. Lose the invisibility. Uh, I got yeah. 10 hit points left. There's only one guy. <laughs> one friend. And he can't leave me. Yeah, He's behind the true. board. What could possibly happen? Well, you may not know that he can't leave me. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, right. I'll just, fair enough. Anything yeah, else? Uh, I'll just hold my action in case anything comes around the corner. You pull out your book, you sit down, you start reading your book. <laughs> <laughs> Mattias, you are up. There's The one that still has his back to you, he's fighting Boulder. He's flail, and he just ripped into Boulder's gut. I'm going to hit the thing again. You have advantage. Okay. Uh, and that means... 26. 20 obviously hits. I guess there's some okay. maybe demons or gods that you might not hit with that, but... What? 
I, 26 will hit most things. I'm, I'm yeah. thinking there might be a god or a demon that you might not hit, but I don't, I don't know. There. Uh, and let's see. Uh, 12 damage. 12 damage as your sword cuts into it. It's like... And my second attack. Oh, ho! Your sword clashing away against the glass-like body. You can feel shards coming off of it. 29 to hit. 29 hits. Holy crumb. And then that one, the damage is... Fifteen. Fifteen. Wrong one. Yeah. Where there is the one. And you see the near glass explode harmlessly outward as when this one goes down. The two of them collapse. They, they burst into shards of glass on the ground. Ooh. What are you doing? Is everyone all right? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I don't know where Simon went. He disappeared. You're bleeding still from your I'm, gut. You feel I'm like, over here. You, you feel like is it, you look down and you see like a gash in you and you're like, ah, oh, that's going to drain a lot of beer. <laughs> Uh, how's the lady doing? She's stable. Stable. Stable, <laughs> huh? All right. Let's drag her into that room there. Drag her in? Yeah, drag her in there. For now. You work. grab her by the foot and you drag her across yeah. the stones. I'll take my invisible <laughs> self in there as well. <laughs> Everyone looks like they're pretty messed up, so... <laughs> I'm yeah, gonna, boy, can you do anything about this? Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to say an aura of vitality and start healing people. So what is it? It's six seconds around or something like that? Yeah. Probably, right. yeah. So, six seconds around. So that's ten a minute? Ten a minute, right? Yes. Okay. Sir. All right, so I'll just divvy this up. I get ten uses of 2d6, so I'll give, give you three... 3d6. 3D6. So, I mean, uh, 3 2d6? 3 2d6 to heal. Am I rolling those on myself? Oh. Yeah, you can roll on yourself. Who's the one who was really, really hurt? Was that you? Yeah. Oh, well, I need, I don't know if that counts. Yeah. I need something a little more powerful to fix my gut, This is a third level oh, spell. This that'll, is actually that'll better work. than that. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Oh, it'll work? Okay. Yeah. So I'll give you 4d6. Well, 8d6 for that. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's 4. Uh -huh. 1, 2, 3, 15, 4. 15, 16. I'll give Mattias two, so you get 46 to roll. Mattias? 46 to hit points, Mattias. For healing. You hear us? Maybe we lost contact. Mattias, do we have you? I'm still here. Roll 4d6 for healing. Oh, 4d6? Yeah. Okay. I did. Sorry about that. I like the music. Mm -hmm. Perfect for it. Okay, I got a 16. All right. And the last 2d6 I'll put on the girl. Neb. For five points of damage. Five of damage <laughs> for healing. <laughs> I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> I understand what you're doing. All right. If you play the chords backwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Orton is a little drained after he does that because he didn't heal himself, but I want to make sure you guys are up. Simon, how many hit points are you at? I am currently at 37. 37. Out of 43. And how, Ryan, how many is Balder at? 86. I am at 44. Thank you. 
Do you want to pay? Ryan is at 131. What was that? Mattias, how many hit points are you at? Oh, no, I'm all... Well, it's slightly uh, Let's the save it because we really need it. It's either we go home now or we continue. <laughs> well, I think we're still good to go. Oh, we're good to go. I'm still invisible. <laughs> Isn't there another guy with us? Where'd that Simon guy go? <laughs> All right. What a spell. Okay. Should we <laughs> take a short rest to use some hit dice or are we continue on? Uh, we could camp outside. I put the hut up and we can all rest. Or we can continue. I don't know how you guys feel. I, I feel well enough. I, I feel alright. I, I still I got some songs ready. Yeah, I don't. I don't think a short rest will help me at all. Although I do think maybe we should stash Neb somewhere. Yeah. Hire here. Or have <laughs> her, yeah, just not bring her with us. Let's keep her in one area because uh, I don't want to see her getting hurt again. Make a comfortable little stone bed. Right okay. There. <laughs> you as best you can. She. She's. Up she's and conscious, moving yeah. around, she's yeah, conscious. She's, conscious. she's yeah. not an adventurer, so she's not, or at least she doesn't appear to be. She, so she doesn't appear as spry as you guys are when no, you're we'll knocked unconscious we'll and leave brought her here right back Georgie. again. We'll leave Georgie. her here with Georgie. He'll protect her. <laughs> Georgie goes up and curls in her lap, wraps a monkey arm or a what's it called, a capuchin? I guess that's a monkey. A capuchin <laughs> arm around her. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> All right, and then I guess we'll continue on. Hers to the extent that a um, a capuchin. <laughs> I'll go take a look at the mirror. Does it happen to be a doorway? Right behind the mirror, you see what appears to be an opening to another, or what? Well, what was left of the mirror? Well, you're Shadow. invisible. Why don't you go in? I'll go. I'll go take a peek. Okay, you go take a peek. What are you using <laughs> for a light source, me. sir? <laughs> well, it's kind of like the predator. <laughs> you see that kind of blurry outline. <laughs> what am I using as a light source? I will. Uh... I'll pick up a, a stone okay. and cast light on it. Illuminate. It's a floating rock. Probably not that bright. <laughs> no? No. Not, well, inter- not internal flame. <laughs> wrong wrong light. You just blew up the rocks. <laughs> Oops. There, there you, you go. go. <laughs> and I'll uh, saunter over and just take a peek. Okay. You're holding out this, this, you guys see this light blob just <laughs> suddenly appear in the room and then start moving across the room. Smite it, smite it! <laughs> <laughs> without explanation. Horn shows up and kills <laughs> yeah, it. I'll sound. save you! <laughs> Smash it! It looks like a glowing rock. Okay, the room, you look through there. Uh, the room was dark beforehand, similarly crisscrossed. Yeah, okay. There we go. Oh no, I don't like that. Put door on the floor. Similarly crisscrossed. the wine Ah, oh, shame on me. Oh well. What's that? Uh, there's a carpet in the middle of the room. <laughs> <laughs> similarly crisscrossed with sinewy spider webs. Yeah. This room is smaller as you can see, than the previous room. But quite ornate, shielded from the elements, the interior has fared significantly better. In weather-beaten Baroque silver frames, large ornate mirror mirrors, albeit with spider cracks, cover the walls. Mm-hmm. Okay. It didn't work too well for us the last time we saw a mirror. Yeah, don't look at them. <laughs> Does this room happen to remind me of anything that I saw during my dreams? Does it flash any uh, any memories to me? Roll an intelligence check. Eight. Fabulous. Eh, (laughs) Like flashes of everything is reminiscent, but nothing specifically. Fair enough. It was a traumatic dream. Okay. What are you doing? The room appears safe. Right, the amorphous <laughs> voice says next to the floating ball of light. I walk in. Safe, eh? That's the first. That, that's the first time we've said it in the, since we entered this place, and um, <laughs> I still don't believe it. I said seems. Seems. I'll take seems a. Safe. I'll take a look around the room. Okay, you look around the room. The the mirrors appear. Do you look at the mirrors? The mirrors, you see mourners surrounding a body 
in, uh, in, in what appears to be a church, perhaps this church. Um, here like and there. De decoration or people in the mirror? They're actually in the mirror and they appear to be at a funeral. Oh boy. They're mourning uh, a, a body that is laid out on um, what appears to be uh, some type of deus, if you will. Here and there, parts of the ceiling are chipped and collapsed. Roll a perception check. Two. Okay. Looks good. I'm in a church? <laughs> wait, where are we? Oh, wait, it's five. Five, okay. <laughs> Baldur's in the room. I think Zyman is in the room. Yes, Zyman, or what are you doing? Um... Also checking out the mirrors. Okay. I suppose. You see the mourners as well. Roll a perception check. <laughs> do, not do they seem animated inside the mirrors? Yes, they do. Bizarre. Well, not <laughs> nine. Morgan, get in here and tell us what you see. <laughs> nine? <laughs> yeah. Somebody. If you tell me what, I'll, what you see, I'll be able to understand it. Yeah, but exactly. I can't see. <laughs> Well, that wasn't ominous at all. <laughs> <laughs> are you going in, Mattias? What are you doing? Uh, I'm just going to be uh, uh, observing the, uh, the the room that we're in and seeing, trying to make sure there aren't any further threats. Maybe seeing if, there, if there's a way, if I can find a uh, way to contribute to figure out how we can move further into the room, if that's what we choose. I think it's what we're doing. All right, well, all right, let's get Bart in there. <laughs> Poke my head in like, all right, Eight? all right. <laughs> <laughs> On the floor, in the middle of the room, is a large tapestry rug. Duh. But it was like <laughs> covered with spider webs? Uh, not the tap. <laughs> well, I mean, the walls are all covered with like a wispy spider webs. You walk on it and hear a hollow sound. <laughs> Can we tell what the tapestry depicts? Um, roll an investigation check. Are you going into the room? I'm kind of in there, yeah. No, Mattias. So. Okay, yeah, so Mattias goes into the room. Mattias and Morton, if you haven't already, roll a perception check. And look no, and roll an investigation check as well, Mattias. I got a 13. For the... Perception check. Perception check. You look in the mirrors, and it appears as though... You are there as well at the funeral. Oh my goodness. And you also see your party members in the mirror. Are we like like animated looking down or? Yes, like we're part attending. Of attending the funeral. All right. Well, that's not creepy at all. Who isn't present? <laughs> yeah. I told you. Is this it the whole party? Is like his Ned oh, there Borinth too? is not there. Borinth is not there. Okay. <laughs> Just make sure there is. No. There is <laughs> wait, wait, but Gundrick is. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> <That's not. laughs> he's in the background, Lincoln. <laughs> he's laughing, and cackling maniacally. <laughs> no, he's not there. I got a natural twenty. Okay. Um, okay, you see the uh, the the people as well, and. On the body, you notice silverish looking ring on the finger of the person who's dead. And the ring looks like it's in the shape of a spider. Ooh, oh, Lady Loth. <laughs> That's not ominous at all. I'm gonna do something stupid. I'm gonna touch the mirror. Okay. Nothing happens. Okay, well, that's good. Yeah, he just kind of like does this just to see if he pulls through, but okay. Everybody roll 1d4, subtract 1. To, con to confirm, the body that's in the mirror Zero. is not present <laughs> in the room. David? <laughs> Correct. Roll a d4 and Mattias and subtract 1. I got a 2. So you, that's with a minus 1? Yes. Okay. You guys notice, you look around, and there are spiders crawling crawling around, and one is on you, Morton. No! Two are on, <laughs> two are on Simon, and, and two are on Mattias. The, 
They just seem to, yeah, I mean, these are stupid, <laughs> dumb spiders. How do they find anything? They're just like crawling around. And the, those ones attack you. The stupid, mindless little. What's your? Oh, man, that's not good, Simon. You're not. You're, your arm, armor class sucks. If I remember yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Simon's invisible though. Ah, uh, okay. For, I'll give it a disadvantage. Just right. Sound good? They cool. smelt them. Hey. Just standing there, they just <laughs> crawl on me. One hit there. One bit you for a whopping one <sighs> point of damage. Make a con save. Oh DC that's so hot ten. Stuff. What do we do to you? Nope. DC ten. No. Okay. Roll the two. <laughs> you take four points of poison damage. You feel slightly ah. nauseous. Morton, what's your AC? Fifteen. You feel this thing trying to bite you. No. And no. <laughs> it doesn't seem to pierce. And Mattias, I don't know how they have a when chance to get an attack of But <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, what's their blood? I don't think it's, it's that much. It's not. You feel these spiders, like, crawling. You look down, one's trying to get underneath your uh, some piece of your armor there at that moment. He's, he's just creeping, crawling away at you. And that's what's going on, is you guys are just hanging out in the room. What are you doing? I'm grabbing that thing and throwing it off. off okay, it's just roll to hit. I think he's staying on me. Ooh. Okay, roll a hit. Got it. Yeah. Swap some. 22. 22. <laughs> you grab hold of it, and literally, I'm assuming you have like a gauntleted hand or with a glove on it. Anyway, and you're like crushing it as you throw it off. <sighs> and it doesn't seem as voluminous as like they came out of the door, but they're like, you look around and you see, you know, in the wispy webs and so forth, uh. the spiders are like everywhere. I mean, they're not like, 18. it's not like covering everything, but I mean, there's just fireball them, Simon. Fireball them. 18. <laughs> you hit and you grab one of them and you manage to crush it in your fingers and it instantly just becomes comes like brittle and there's yes, another one yes, still like crawling fire. away on you. What are you doing? Uh, I think you guys need to do your fireball roll here. 13. <laughs> to swap them off. 13, let me see. Uh, Tom, what'd you do with Shatter. it? Shatter. you. Yeah. Just kill them all. Break all the mirrors. 13, you go to swat it and you just miss it and he like <laughs> digs down underneath a corner of your jerkin or whatever it is. <sighs> And they, the two of them bite away at you again, invisible. Or, so uh, with disadvantage, and one misses miserably, and the other one misses miserably. They're biting away at Simon. There's one biting away at Mattias. And he... Plus, plus what? Oh, Okay. He just, one just managed to bite you. You take one point of damage. Uh, Mattias, make a con save. Con save, got it. Good thing I have a decent constitution level. With these um, ones, a DC 10. Oh, well then, I got an 18 total. Ten, so. You, no problem. And you just take one point of damage. What are you guys doing in the room while these spiders are crawling around in here? Morton's leaving the room. We need to get out of here. <laughs> Is there uh, any other way out? I'm not doing this. <laughs> I don't do spiders. Can I check under well, the rug? Sure, because Tom <laughs> kind of gave it away. You lift up the corner of the rug and you see a, what appears to be a trap door. Ooh, is it a lock? Um, you throw the rug to the side and you go over and you lift up on it. And it appears to lift. Oh. Let's open it up. I will step back away while he opens it up. I'm yeah, I know, right? Near him <laughs> okay. <laughs> the, those Here they come. Here they giant come. spider comes out. <laughs> those two come. that are on you, Zyman, they can t you, you get to, I think it's your turn. You get to swat away at them. All right. Mattis, you have one on you. You can swat away at him. Another uh, 11. 11. Miss, uh, you miss him. <laughs> He's just like, get off. Get off of me! And you just I'm invisible. I should just take all my clothes off. I should I'm just be able to and mock the spider. <laughs> okay, you look down ah. while these guys are flailing away. <laughs> no, cool, bro, and he just walks away. <laughs> what are you I'm using like as a light upset. source? Yeah. <laughs> Balder, what are you using as a light source? Uh, it is dark in here. A torch. A torch. 
you light up a torch real quick and you're waving it down over the hole and you can see 30 feet bright, 30 feet dim, I think is what it is. There's, I'm sorry? I'm sorry. Is there a ladder going down or? Oh, look at that. Uh, you lean over and look with him. There's a ladder going down and it is cracked and worn while the, going down a shaft. <laughs> the walls of the shaft appear cold and uninviting. The shaft, there's a draft that emanates from the depths that brings up air that speaks of death and decay. Shadows play along the walls as if they were alive and dancing at the edge of the flickering light you're holding. You bring bodies down here. A silvery wisp. (laughs) Pulley? Spiders? I don't know. (laughs) A silvery wisp of a broken spider web sways slowly in the moving air, but the spider itself is probably gone. Uh, It goes down slightly farther than, well, Dim, wow. very, very dim at the bottom. You can see the bottom, and it appears as though there's a layer of murky water down at the bottom of this shaft that goes straight down. Down I go. Can somebody help me get these spiders off, please? <laughs> Damn, though the two spiders, <laughs> by the way, it's you. We're still invisible. Stop That's drop and roll, will you? <laughs> And AC 10, right? Run. That's a hit. One of them just barely hits you. And you can make hear, one point of damage, make a con save. DC 10 con save. Hey, no one mentioned anything about yes. spiders until I went in the hole. Okay. <laughs> can I tear the other one off myself? Try. Sure. Roll the hit. That's another 18. You reach over and you grab this one, your fist, you clench it in your fingers, and you toss it towards Simon, and it doesn't hit him. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't, you don't know it's Simon because he's invisible, but you toss it toward the glowing ball ball stone (laughs) and it bounces off the wall in little tiny pieces. Simon, you see, no, you don't see Simon flailing away. You see the light like bouncing around (laughs) kind of maniacally over there. (laughs) Okay, Balder, you start to descend, descending and all the way down as you... You're holding the torch out to your side as you're going down into the darkness. There's silvery wisps of webs. You pass a a spider here and there. They kind of scurry off on their own. And and you come down toward the bottom, and it looks like you, you peer off. You turn and peer behind you, and it looks like there's a hall. As you're coming down the ladder this side, the hall goes off in that direction. It's almost 40 feet straight down, and it looks like there's water immediately uh, below you. The area above you is probably about seven feet, six to seven feet high. And then there's water at the base. What are you doing? Uh, you said there's a hallway or? It appears to be a hallway and it appears to be all like partially, well, you don't know, it could be fully flooded. It could be 20 feet deep. There's just a layer of water, kind of stagnant, dark oh, okay. water. Just I'm going off it. down the hallway. I can see the arch of the hallway or whatever. Uh, it's probably more square, but yes. No, no. It's, uh, it, it just kind of continues. So this straight shaft came down, and then this hallway at the bottom of it, almost like an L shape, kind of goes off. And then the base of the hallway is, seems to be filled with water. Yeah, I'll climb down, see if it's deep. <laughs> you climb down, and you, you feel your your boots going down into the into the water and it just and then it goes about two and a half three feet and you're about you're a pretty big guy so it might be just below your your waist or something like that okay okay the water is about this deep you know, hey like, guys come on down the water's great <laughs> it's like stagnant and gross it's not like there's it, it's not like sewer water but it's obviously been sitting there a yeah. long time I don't know. Morton will go down, but he'll go down in style because he's going to hold the sides with his feet on the side and just slide down the ladder 40 feet. I will most likely get some sort of infection. Most likely. (laughs) (laughs) That's why you bring me. (laughs) That gaping belly one. Oh, look at that. It's already there. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what. Why don't we spin 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 this this way? Makes sense? Can we do that? Does that, does that, does that work? I think it'll work. Yeah. That way we don't have to. There we go. Good. Makes sense. 
cool. Mm -hmm. And that's that, right? Now oh, the way out seems so, so far away. <laughs> yeah, that works easier. Okay, cool. And so you're descending, you step into the murky water. It's about three feet deep. Spiders on the surface, some of them actually scurrying along the surface, yeah. scurry away from you. Reminds me of Mario. <laughs> what is it? Reminds me of Mario 64. The water spiders. <sighs> They're even in the water. <laughs> Let's trudge through. Though your feet are covered, you can tell the obscured floor is covered with a, a layer of moss or algae. It's a little bit slippery. It's 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 a little bit slow moving through the water because you're you know pushing the water ahead of you. Mm -hmm. It's considered difficult terrain for movement purposes. So basically, about half what is normal. Mm -hmm. You suspect you're in what what looks like. You don't suspect it looks distinctly like a hall. An old iron torch sconce sits empty and rusting about head level on your right hand side. Judging by the webs crisscrossing the metalwork, a spider is using it for a home. You notice a tiny movement there. A fly is struggling in the web, and a small black spider slowly moves towards it. Is it going, help me, help me? I cast press the digitation and light the torch on fire and burn the spider. <laughs> it's just a sconce, but, ah. the, but, the, but the sconce itself catches on fire. <laughs> the remnants of it, and somehow it... <laughs> because it's magic, it burns, for a, at least for a moment, and then it, I don't know for how long it will stay I got, burning. I got one spider. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> the spider and the fly both sizzle. The fly is grateful for the, the quick death, <laughs> <laughs> to the extent that he can be. Okay. You, what are you doing? I'm going to walk on in. Okay, sloshing through the dark water. Mattias, do you join them going down the steps? Yes, I do, I think. Okay, sloshing. I, uh, I'm not one to leave my, my companions behind right now, at this point. I've <laughs> learned my lesson about that. Not right now, anyway. Okay. <laughs> I go where the blue sky demands I do. Understood. Sloshing through the dark water on the floor's slick surface, spiders flitter away my, from me. My shield should still have that light enchantment on it. I would think so. Would it? Uh, you tell me. You cast it. So what is it? An hour? Or? Uh, yeah, one hour. Yeah. By the way, I think so. Morton yeah. is constantly using prestidigitation just to blow like any spider he sees, just to blow wind at him. Just like, get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! <laughs> they kind of, it kind of blows them away. I mean, spiders can't. They they can like scurry across. Smooth. They're not going to go out. It's not so much the damage; it's just to keep them away from me. You I'm see just them using full on fireball. <laughs> I can't do anything else. You see them on the walls. I mean, it's not like covered, but here they are, skittering oh. along and so forth. I hate spiders. Huh? I hate spiders. Oh, I hate spiders now. <laughs> <laughs> Sloshing through the water on the floor's slick surface, spiders flitter away from you. It doesn't get much darker than this space. You're using your shield for light you're you've got the got glowing the ball you've got a torch you can see off can of see everybody else's else lights and so forth illuminated by your lights you find yourself in an empty musty hall just under 10 feet wide and high the dark and murky water otherwise stagnant sloshes as you move through it uh, on the algae covered surface the walls are covered with webs some clearly ancient. The walls shimmer and sway as you move past. A web catches your equipment and peels away a small section of the web itself, tearing like cotton from a pillow. I don't know where the owls came from. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. What does that mean? <laughs> where are we? <laughs> okay, well, that's good. You walk out into an enchanted forest. <laughs> Deep underground. There we go. That's it. Oh, right. even worse. Oh, I don't like it. Can we have but the owls again? <laughs> I don't like it one bit. Nope. <laughs> no, sir. I don't like Those it. Those are the sound of spiders. <laughs> There's not more of them all of a sudden. Not yet, anyway. But I mean, <laughs> heck, are these things eating down here? Us. Yeah. <laughs> you hear lots of little spiders that are like in Morton's blowing them away. 
you somehow managed to get those last. You went, you ducked underwater briefly and just like, <laughs> got those last ones off. The last ones <laughs> came off you. You didn't mean to duck underwater, but no. somehow you managed to, oh. and they floated off you at that that moment. <laughs> You're just not having a good time. Every, uh, every every few months, I a told bunch you of idiots shouldn't come, come down in here. here. Yeah, <laughs> spiders eat them. <laughs> Pretty much. You Some wonder why they're not. a dream out on the road. <laughs> Here it goes. <laughs> and you wonder why they're not saying that. <laughs> you had to bring up the dream, didn't you? <laughs> Sorry. The walls are I covered with. Dream it wasn't good. <laughs> it wasn't a good dream. It was a bad dream. The walls are covered with webs, some of them clearly ancient. They shimmer and sway as you move past. Uh, oh, we already read that. The walls, revealing the walls, they look worn, even ancient. Mortar crumbles from beneath, between some of the stones, splashing into the water. And there are even a few cracks. It's a few too many hisses. There, <laughs> there are even cracks big enough to put your fingers into. Yeah, no. Even with the stagnant smell of the water, you note the distinct smell of long, <laughs> decayed corpses. Oh. The hall stretches out into the darkness. It's got to be a tomb. Oh. Old tomb. Well, that is usually what they put under the church. Yeah. <laughs> you continue moving forward? Okay. We're here. Uh, okay. <laughs> you want to, like, burn some of the webs off and see if we see any frescoes or something on the wall? Well, hold that thought. Hold that. Hey, Major. You are watching the Carpathian Adventure on Seven Sided Die. We'll be right back. You are watching the Carpathian Adventure on Seven Sided Die, and the party has just descended into what appears to be a crypt. You can hear the spiders behind. Isn't that <laughs> wonderful? What the hell are we thinking? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I should you have been a something? composer. <laughs> you just asked something. What was it? The, uh, the stonework down here, is it much, like, I mean, is it different from what the church upstairs was made out of? Roll an investigation check. I'll be right back. Okay. 17. 17. Um, it looks like it's probably about the same age, but 
examining it closely, it looks like the, the water level has risen in here, probably due to somebody not maintaining the mortar or something like okay. that. And so that, that water just, and, the, and the, the humidity in here is probably damaged some of the, the mortar okay. and what have you. But you suspect that it's about the same. Okay, the same so they didn't age. like build something over something that was much, much it older. It doesn't appear to be. And you, okay. you think you're, you're looking, you think you're, your guess is pretty accurate. Okay. Okay, you guys continue to plod forward. Yes. You're mm -hmm. plodding forward, the sloshing, kind of slow going as you're kind of forcing your legs forward in this waist deep water. Off to the right hand side. Okay, off to the right-hand side. A tall ceiling room. Huh? Kill it with fire. <laughs> a tall ceilinged room is filled with partially submerged broken shelves, a table, and torn scrolls and bottles and vials. Scrolls? Bottles and vials. <laughs> yes. I don't like it. Yes, there are. I don't like it one bit. There are shelves with vials. Yes, indeed. Do you want me to do the detect magic this time? Oh, and yeah. Scrolls. Okay. And yes, scrolls. and scrolls. Yes. I love scrolls. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Upon seeing this egg thing, I shoot with a firebolt. <laughs> you shoot a firebolt at it. And it goes in. You see lots of little spiders go scurrying off away ew, from it. Ew, ew. <laughs> <laughs> I just They just... Scurry all the way from it, all over the place. Ugh. Gobs of them. Gobs and gobs. No, no. Oh, <laughs> Why did Amazon have that sale on spiders? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are you doing? You, 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 the, the spiders, they... Should we go in there? It's got cool stuff in there. I think it's teasing us. Where it we, is. Or do we go straight? What do you guys want to do? Well, I think we should probably investigate the room. We're here. All right. All right. Okay. Go. All, all of you, one of you. For, are, are the spiders running away? Or they yeah, they're, oh, they ran away from the fire. They're like... They're tiny spiders. Those, make, those are much bigger than... The right, Amazon well, doesn't sell. I will, I will tiny, walk in. Tiny, 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 tiny. I will walk in first. Okay, you walk in first. You push forward. Where are you... So you see, like, floating debris with bottles and some with scroll tubes on them. Some of the bottles are broken. Um, looking where you fired across, there was one exceptionally large web across that far corner. Uh, roll a pers roll. Sure. Roll a, an investigation check, I guess. 17. A 17, it looks like there's a tunnel going off, off of it, off of this corner. It's down low. It doesn't look like it's a, 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 a man-made tunnel, almost like a natural mm, I don't like that. tunnel there. <laughs> okay, what is the rest of everybody else doing? Are you all pushing in there? Or are you all staying out in the hallway? If I, oh, I'm trepidatiously going down. No. I'm, go I'm going in. I'm, I'm invisible. I'm okay. I'm on scroll cases. Everybody roll a roll everybody roll a D20. Just tell me what you roll. Two. A five. Two, a five. A one. A one and a disconnect. I'm gonna, oh no, he said he had to go to the bathroom or something. I'm gonna roll for Mattias in his absence. Seven. And he rolls a seven. Zyman, roll a Dex check with disadvantage. <laughs> Eleven. Zyman, <laughs> Zyman, you're trudging forward toward them, and all of a sudden, right in front of you, you you step forward and your foot gives way, and you plunge into the water. You roll. You suddenly find yourself over your head. Sink. And you well, nobody sees. You're invisible, correct? <laughs> He's trying yeah, to like the light. Yeah. You see the light. You guys see the light moving forward by itself, <laughs> and then all of a sudden it goes whoosh straight down into the water. That's pretty deep. <laughs> and uh, you're not sh suddenly you find yourself plummeting in deep water. You have fallen into a pit. So <laughs> just put, yeah, leave your figure right there. That's good. Yeah. Images of dragons <laughs> laying. <you're> like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Ich war... Oh, no. Okay, well, of all people, you're not wearing armor, correct? So, correct. So it's probably not a bad thing. No, not too bad. <laughs> all right. Thank okay. <laughs> and the rest of you, Balder, you push forward, and you see a whole bunch of, of broken uh, potion bottles, and you also see some that are intact, and you reach over and you start picking them up, I'm assuming? Yeah. Okay, you manage... You're, you find some of them, they're like floating on the surface. Between each of you who are in the room right now, you manage to find three intact uh, potion bottles okay. and got just, you can say, 12 for the group of you, but the equivalent of like, uh, yeah, yeah, there's like 12. You guys manage to find 12, and you find scroll tubes as well. And as you're, some of them, and everybody roll a perception check. Oh, nice. Seven. Twenty-two. Mm. What is that? Nine down twelve. So we each got three potions? Is that what we said? Uh, no, we we're, 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 we're actually rolling perception versus stealth. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> okay, drop that by. We did it for Walter. the mini. <laughs> drop that one by uh, uh, Morton. No. Well, uh, right on top of uh, what's his name. They're in like, that room. Yeah. Oh, they're in here. Uh, yeah, just slide him off to the side because he's yeah, under he, water. He hears me flailing around in the water. Yeah, we probably hear you. They, these two spiders descend. Well, they, you don't see them. They're actually invisible. They're, these two spiders. Can invisible people see invisible things? No. That's a good question. <laughs> the spiders descend and they attack with their their stealthy attack. Oh no! This spider. Where's the spider battle? No, attacking spiders. <gasps> Mm-hmm. No, I'm trying to find a, sp a spell here. A lot of invisible people. Okay! And lots of spiders, no less. And they uh, bite! Oh boy. The first one shoots. He's, a, he's actually going to shoot a web. Each one of them is going to shoot a web at you. And the first one shoots... And he shoots a web at you. You need to make a DC 15. Uh, not just yet. When you when you go to move, this I web know. suddenly shoots over you, and it's like sprayed all around you, uh, Balder. And he bites at you as well. And at 20, somebody toss me a critical oh, card, please. Man. Okay. There you go, buddy. Just in time to a die. Disfiguring scar. No other. Oh. You choose where. Nice. Okay, nice. you have a. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Dark Souls. <laughs> you have a disfiguring scar, and he bites away at you, and you do, which is probably better than like double or triple damage anyway. Uh, so roll a DC 15 con save as well. One. Oh, one. That's not good. Okay. Uh, well, I guess a ten. <laughs> Seventeen piercing and is that correct? Yeah. Seventeen piercing and twenty poison. Seventeen piercing and twenty poison That'll damage. That will just kill me right away. <laughs> well, it was nice knowing everybody. <laughs> I forever have disadvantage on persuasion rolls and advantage on intimidation rolls. Nice. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> cool. Cool scar. <laughs> I got a big old scar down the side of my face. Now people are scared at me. Uh, that's kind of... I'll let you if you want to keep that. That's, that's cool. <laughs> like, 
that's kind of that'd be rough for me. <laughs> I mean, for you, I don't think your charisma is that high anyway. No. So I'll you take use it. your it's strength to little... intimidate people, right? <laughs> yeah. So that's good. That's it's actually a funny. It's a funny little thing because I'm not going to persuade anybody okay. anyway. <laughs> Morton, he attacks away at you. He sprays this web at you as well, and a 13 is not going to get the web shoots past you and missing you, and then he goes in to bite you. Ow! <laughs> ah, yes, his bite. I, which you see is, yes, 15 AC, correct? Yep. Yes, he bites his teeth, his <laughs> pincers clamp into you. Make a DC 15 con save. And 15. Nine, you made the save. So you take half damage on the poison, but from the bite you take, um, you take, you take 17 from the point, from the bite, and you take, uh, 12 from the poison. I'm the healer guy, so help me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down to 15. Matthias needs to get in here. Okay, and that is the opponents. Zyman, you are up. Oh, yes, you have to, you're have you sinking away. Did we oh, I'm sorry, we didn't roll we initiative. Didn't roll on this now it is there. initiative. Now it is Five initiative. Down, right? The bad guys have, yes, that is correct. Bad guys have a six. I got a 16. I got a 10. My bad. That was the okay, previous edition of audio. I have an 8. 12. You had a 10. Everyone has a 10. Uh, you Matthias has 12. 12. 12, yes. Thank you. And you had a 16. So you're first. And where is Morinth? <laughs> Cut to some guy in the woods. <laughs> Oh, it's the exact opposite of last time for the opponents. <laughs> They're at the bottom. Morton, you are up, followed by Mattias, then Simon, then Balder, then the opponents. Morton's up. Morton is going to... Wait, do you have to disengage to get away from him? How does that work? Yeah, you can use a disengage action to get away from him. Yes. I'm going to do that in getting into the hallway and trying to get behind Mattias over here. Okay. To position myself better to do things in the back. Okay. Uh, am I allowed to do anything else, or is that it? Uh, that's an action. See if you have a bonus action and move. Uh, bonus action. Uh, right? You know what? I don't have anything, so I'm just going to hold off on Okay. It. Mattias is up. Mattias, you see this shimmering thing. that You think it's kind of like a spider, but it's partially... In, it's, it looks like it's an invisible, large spider in front of you that just... It's about seven to eight feet in front of you. About where the glowing ball just disappeared into the water. You didn't know. Zyman walked, was walking forward with a glowing rock, and then he just plummeted. He might have been, might be glad that he just plummeted <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> into the water. I could only hold my breath and <laughs> stay down here forever. We're gonna get this spider is walking. Its legs in the water towards us. Ah, uh, it's kind of it. It descended from the ceiling, and he's kind of like swinging along toward you. And yeah, you can kind of skimmer across the combination of the water and the. Yep, he's about seven feet in front of you. Balder is to your immediate right, and he has another shimmering, invisible, spidery form in front of him. Um, I will raise my shield and then. Possible forward, but but just close enough to make an attack. Okay, so just push him forward about five feet. Yeah, I mean you're gonna have to get within five feet with your sword, so. Yeah. Okay, so my first attack. Uh, uh, Twenty-four to hit. Twenty-four definitely hits. And damage. Uh, nine damage. Nine points of damage. It is still up. My second attack, 23 to hit. 23 hits. Damage. That would be 13 damage. 
13, 9, and 13. 22 points of damage. Okay. It is still this shimmering. Those were a disadvantage, correct? I forgot to mention that. Those are your rolls because it's invisible. Okay, cool. And, um, and you did. So this shimmering damage, it cuts into it. You can feel your sword biting into the carcass of the body. The carcass, the, the body of the spider. That was Mattias. Anything else? No. Nope. Uh, just uh, just knowing that I man, that, that Beth Fell managed to, to break through the chitin was enough for me. Yep. Yep. Roll Zyman. You are up. What is my Roll, <coughs> what's my situation? You're you're <laughs> somewhere underwater. It is okay. dark. I, I I roll a athletics or acrobatics or something like that to hold on to the stone as you're flailing about in here. Uh, 14. 14. You still have the stone in your hand and you're underwater. It is just like completely murky around you. Roll a perception check. Which way is up? Which way is down? Which way is right? Which way is left? 14. 14. <laughs> you suddenly have, you see a wall in front of you and it looks like you fell into some kind of uh, some kind of not natural just like sinkhole uh-huh. almost like and you can feel the rough edges around you and you can't and you just have a sense you you take a brief moment you with the light in front of you you blow ever so gently not to blow air out of your lungs but you blow a couple and you watch the bubbles and you see the bubbles going up and you're like that way must be up but you don't say that out loud because you want to hold your breath you can do your movements you start swimming up you get about uh, we're gonna say about 30 feet because your movements 30 feet mm-hmm. you get about 30 feet and you're still below water, but you it feels like the pressure is decreasing. Okay. But you're right there. Is there anything else you can do besides move at this point? Is there anything underwater? You... Yeah. No, because I can't see anything above the water. Not yet. No. Okay. Continue That's Simon Balder. You are up. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know if this will work, but I'm gonna take out one of my little potions. And it is, where'd it go? It's a putrid, fluffy brown powder. And I will throw it at the spider and it will permanently turn his skin black. <laughs> uh, roll to hit. I don't know if that works, but. <coughs> Keep the meter busy. 19. 19, nice. 19, it just hits, or just above hits. It hits, it splashes puffy powder. It's a fluffy brown powder. (laughs) Slams onto it, and now it distinctly becomes visible with this puffy brown powder on it, and you can make out the shape of it. It doesn't cover all of it, but it covers enough of it that it's clearly discernible at this point. Uh, I guess I'll stand still. I don't think I'm going to move. Okay. I think that's it for me. Do you have a second attack or no? Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess I can still do a second attack. It's up to you. Is that a thing you can do? Well, you didn't attack, right? You threw something at it. Oh, okay, that counts as an attack. I got it. All right, so yeah, I'll make a second attack. Improvised weapon. I'll make a second attack. I mean, you don't have to. It's up to you. (laughs) You cannot Uh, do that. 21. Uh, 21 hits. Your hammer cuts into it. It feels much better than attacking invisible stone glass gargoyles. This one clearly makes its purchase. So eight damage. Eight damage. It is still up. And then... Ooh. I use my action surge. Action surge! I don't want to wait around too long with these guys. (laughs) So I will attack him again with green flame blade. Uh, 26 to hit. 26 hits! So that's... 11 damage. 11 more points of damage. He is still up. And I'll attack him again. Okie doke. No. 12 to hit. 12 does not hit. No, I not. Turn one of these in. Why waste it? Okay. There we go. 20. 20. 20 definitely hits. Nice. And that is 9 damage. 9 more points of damage to it. That's my turn. That is your turn. The opponents are up. Everybody roll a d4 minus one. Oh no. Three. 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 
spiders on you. Zero. We got one. I'm on water. They can't get on me. Spider. Yeah, you can't get any on you. <laughs> Mattias, roll a d4 minus one. No. I did. I got a. I rolled a one. Okay, so you have no spiders on you. The one spider on Morton attacks away, and he min you feel this thing crawling on you. You ah. didn't notice it, and all of a sudden it like tries to bite, and it's like, what? It didn't manage to pierce <laughs> on Boren or Balder rather. Balder has three <laughs> on him. A nat twenty. Give me a critical oh, card. Oh, oh, this four. 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 There's four. There's four. That's Killing us today. Four's huh? one. This four's <laughs> one. <laughs> maximum damage to the head. Well, his maximum damage is one point. So, but you have to take this one little spider jabs you in the head. Somehow he managed to jab you in the head, <laughs> and you have to make a DC 10 con save or be stunned. You take one point of damage from him. 12. 12, it doesn't stun you. Plus a lot. But you have to roll now, just roll a poison con save of DC 10 as well. And the other two. Oh, did I? Yes, I did it. Love that the other, <laughs> the other two miss you. You saved. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Nothing <laughs> happened. You took, two. <laughs> you took maximum damage of one point, and the one on Mattias surges forward. Oh, I forgot to have you roll a DC 15 con save to break out of the web. Yes. Okay. So you did break out of the web before. So that web that all of your attacks would have been, would have been. Oh, is that okay, I got you. Yeah, it was my bad. So you managed to burst out, somehow managed to burst out of the web, and he goes ahead and bites away at you, and whew, miserable, does, doesn't hit you. And on Mattias, he bites away as well, and misses as well. Drop this guy from the oh, ceiling. Yeah. Oh, shut up. The look like horror. And he's gonna go for one, two, three, four, five, six. He goes after Balder. Is one more surges forward, and he he's gonna shoot a web at you. And 23, this web sprays you again at the beginning of your next round. Have to make a DC 15 con save <laughs> to burst out of it. And then he's gonna try and bite you at the end of my next turn. At the beginning of your next oh, turn okay. to try and break out of it. It's kind of like yeah. your movement if you want to attack. Uh, and yeah, 23, I'm sure hits. 23, he does roll another con. Uh, I'll just, DC. I'll just activate shield. Shield. Okay, then 23 did, would not hit. Okay, so nothing happened I don't think with I can that. Take much more damage. Okay, that is. And now the attacks on Mattias. He attack, bites away at Mattias. A 23, Mattias. He bit you. Yeah. Okay, you take 16 points of piercing and roll a con DC 15 con save. Yeah, constitution. Okay. How are you doing? Uh, I can, I can do shatter on everything. Okay. That'll probably do good. That'll help. Okay, so yeah. my I got was fireball. 16, plus my, uh, Everybody get out of the room. I think we need you to do that. Okay. So as you, as you say on the, uh, we'll on the poison, the so you took 16 from the bite, and you took uh, 7 from the poison. Joy, I'm less than even further than I was You should come up and say, get under the water and throw a fireball with it. Okay, uh, that is the opponents. We're at the top of that little, round two. That little like, rock of light just turns <laughs> into this massive fire. <laughs> okay, Morton is up. Uh, Sing us a song, hurt. good old buddy old pal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Are they all within, like... 10 feet of each other, or? I would say, um, hmm. Yeah, this, the two on the, two. I would say two definitely are. Uh, I, I'd say two definitely are. I mean, you have to measure it out. I think if maybe in this, is it 10 foot radius or 10 yeah, foot? Yeah, 10 foot radius. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah if you hit the center I'm one, the two on the outside would be within 10 feet, sure. All right, I'll sing a shatter spell. Okay. 
So they gotta make uh, con saving throws. Difficulty 16. Difficulty 16. Okay, uh, let me just. There we go. The one on that side, his. He's. Uh, plus one, he fails. The one in the middle is a natural one, he fails. And the one on that side, a. a. 10. Uh, he fails. All, all, right. Right. all three fail. Boom! And 17 points of damage on him. 17 points to each one. Ooh. Uh, As a bonus action, what does can it I save your ability? Uh, it's, uh, yeah. 16. Okay, the one on the far, that's on Balder's side, looks really badly injured. The other two are both hurt, but nowhere near as bad as that one. Anything else? Um, am I able to grab the spider? Is that considered an attack? Uh, I think that would be, because we've been calling it an attack. So now, if, I'm going to try diving under the water. Just sure, you can use your movement. You just splash down into the water. And just roll uh, as if it was an attack, but it's not an attack. It's just movement. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, what the hell's my plus on this? Oh, 16. 16. It, it, you... As you glance, it's no longer there. You see it floating away down the hallway. Anything else? I lament my hair is now wet. <laughs> Just a little bit. Uh, that's you all I can might do. have managed to keep the top dry. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, Mattias, you are up. Followed by Simon and Balder. Simon, we need you, buddy. <laughs> you gotta do something. <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> so, so let me get my understand. One in front of me is still there. One is attacking Balder. Yep, there's one directly in front of you. There's one to your right in between you and Balder, and there's one attacking Balder. So there's three in the room. Is, is which one? Who is the one between me and Balder attacking? Uh, it attacked Balder last round. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to, then I best try to eliminate the one attacking me already sure. before I try to take care of that one. Okay. Um, okay. Selfish, but um, all right. So did it. That is a 17. 17 does not hit. Just missed. Second attack. Uh, they, with disadvantage, by the way. This one's still invisible. Yep. Right. You hit. Your sword connects and it slams into the carapace. You feel it cutting through despite its invisibility. Okay. Well, 15 damage. 15 more points of damage now. It looks like it's really hurting. Yours is starting to really hurt now. Okay. Nice. Nice. Anything else? Okay, that's Maddie. As Zyman, you are up. You so I'm still a little underwater. You feel like you're still a little bit underwater. Do you continue to swim upward? You know, yeah, you, yeah. it takes about you about that. five more that. feet, and all of a sudden you, you feel like you I'm can come up so. above water. <laughs> you feel it coming up, and you're you're like right there, uh, just at the surface. So if you want, like you can here. You, you would, yeah, you're probably right there. I mean, the spiders are moving around. You might be yeah. slightly on the left hand. Face. Just push forward a little bit closer toward yeah, Maddie. He came up in the yeah, right up in there, yeah. like right in between the two of them. Okay, it's things we do thing. for scrolls. So I mean, you can you can stay some. It's up to you. I'm not saying you have to pop all the way up, <laughs> but you could like just get enough to breathe. Do I do I think I'd be able to go up my first five feet, cast a spell, and then go back down? Sure. Yeah. It's movement and movement. Okay. I will uh, pop up, see what is going on since I'm... I mean, there's a slight chance because you're within five feet. It's slight, but they're focused on the target uh -huh. in front of them that they might turn for an opportunity attack. I'll give them a perception check. Uh, visible list? That one is visible. Invisible, invisible. Mm -hmm. Correct, correct, okay. correct. What do you mean? need a rogue here. Rogue, I will yeah. pass yeah. Serious damage. Scorching Ray. <laughs> We're missing one. Uh, we one on the right in front of me, all three rings. <laughs> 
Okay. All at disadvantage. The one, I do a lot of roguish yes, things. Yes, yes, he's into his skills, but I can't do the backstabs. Uh, not the for four the first six. <laughs> it's a miss. Thirteen. It's a miss. And a twenty-three. A uh, twenty-three hits. Kill it. Five. Five more Fire points. Damage. Fire damage. <laughs> <laughs> I duck back under the wall. And <laughs> how does he to fire? Hi <laughs> hi. <No>. Okay. <laughs> Anything, and you duck back down. Let me see if they turn. They're not that person. Nope. Okay. Uh, what do I do? No, neither. Not, <laughs> none of the three of them turn towards you at the moment. Invisibility hurts. Yep. At disadvantage. Balder, you are up. All right. I'm going to hopefully attack the spider with green flame blade. Yes, well, he is visible, so you straight up. No disadvantage on him. Oh, 14? 14 misses. Oh, you swing you got right now. whoosh. No. No, it's even worse. One more. <laughs> I can't miss. Here we Yay. go. 26. 26 hits. <laughs> um, and that is a 7 plus a 5 plus a 5, 17 damage. 17 total to damage. Him. Okay. Yeah, and it's going to be. Hold on. What is it? An 8 plus 7. So it'll be a 15 to this one? Uh, 15 to hit or 15? Uh, just fire damage. 15. Off oh, that's attack. right. 15, see? That's right. It fire leaps off from one and jumps over to the other one. The one that's in front that of you, he is, he is next to each other. incredibly yeah. <laughs> badly damaged at this moment. Which is this one? Oh. Yes. All right, I will the attack one, it again. Uh, okay. Just die. Die, <laughs> Uh, 21. 21 hits. And then 5, 6, 7, 8 damage. Uh, he's taking it on. Anything else? That's it. That's it. Are you doing anything else this round? Uh. The opponents are up. Okay. Uh, the one on. Oh, I never had you roll your DC. Okay, my bad. Uh, roll a DC 15 oh. con save. We're good. Okay, so you did break through it. I just keep forgetting to do that. I shouldn't have you roll it. Right I forgot this time, too. Okay. <laughs> okay, he's going to bite away at you. And natural one, fumble card, please. Finally. Uh, what does he do? He, the attacker's weapon or implement breaks. You see his, oh. you see his, his a part of his like jaw like snaps off. Oh. He didn't realize how hard I hit him in the jaw. He just <laughs> broke when he tried to bite me. Oh. No. Part of his jaw broke off. I'm gonna say he's at disadvantage for attacks then. Okay, the other one on you. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. He was on you. He's still on you. And a 16. I'm sure that does not hit. Uh -huh. On Mattias, a 13. That does not hit. And the three, what is it? One, two, three. Three on you, three tiny spiders. Everybody roll a d4 minus one. Three tiny Wait. spiders. Up on me? <laughs> yeah, well, roll, roll a d4, no, just roll a d4 minus one. You're good this time. I got a zero <laughs> underwater. You got a zero. 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 You're I, underwater. I'm underwater. <laughs> you still had three on you though, correct? From well, before? I, I would assume the shatter spell uh, killed I, Oh, okay. I rolled a two, so uh, I guess one, it would just be one. Okay, so Mattias <laughs> has a spider on him as well. Throw it on him, and it bites away at you, Mattias. For, uh, even with a 20, I don't think it penetrates your armor. You feel this one, is, <laughs> it like scratches away and you're like armored. You feel you something know. biting away at your on your, you have a spider on your neck or someplace. <laughs> like the strongest bite you ever <laughs> Okay, that is the opponent's Morton. You are up. All right, I am going to move over here. 
so I can see that one there, and I'll sing some dark notes and try to hit it with my Eldritch Blast. Uh, 20 and, uh, wow, 26. Nice. Just throw with it. Kill the spider, kill the spider. Twelve. Twelve points. You see the shatter. It just blasts it to pieces. And the carapace parts explode all over the place. On that kill. one. It has Balder screams. Yeah, I gotta take out the easy ones so you can damage the bigger ones. <laughs> okay. You can't see the bigger ones. Anything else? Yeah, can I use... Oh, no, I can't cast that. Never mind. Uh... No, I'm just going to try to reposition again over here. No problem. It's tough pushing through the water. It's at half movement, difficult terrain, but you managed to go that five feet, no problem. Anything else? Mm. Okay, that's Morton. Mattias, you are up. You have one in front of you that is invisible, disadvantage to attack, and one to your right that is, seems to be attacking Balder that is also invisible. I will try to kill the one in front of me. Okay, go for it. Okay, so... Two hits, that is 25. 25 hits with disadvantage, correct? And, yep. Uh, let me... Right. Uh, yep, that is with disadvantage. Okie doke. Okay, and there's damage. Um, it's 14. 14 more points of damage. Now he's not looking so great. Okay, I'll make my second attack on it. Okay. Uh, and that would be... Okay, first roll is an 18, and the second is a 20, so... Yep, you 18. still, still hit. Add my um, my bonuses because that because that would add up to twenty nine total. You hit. Roll um, damage. Okay, so damage. Another fifteen points of damage. Fifteen more. <sighs> that one to the extent that you can see invisible parts, they start to become visible, and the carapace just like flops in the water, <sighs> collapsing. Under with your mighty blow slamming into it. Yeah. As you kill that one, yes, just flip him over. Even if the sun does not shine in this place, the sky still smiles on us, at least a little bit. Okay, that is Matt. Anything else, Mattias? Simon, Zy- like- you are up. <laughs> I'll pop out of the water and uh, cast a fireball. Nope. Thirteen. Thirteen, your firebolt goes flying past him. <laughs> and back under the water. And, and you duck underneath the water, the water <laughs> Misty, if he no perceived resistance. you uh, with disadvantage. Oh, are you still invisible? Yeah. Uh, no, no. No. Okay, so we straight up, fire. still, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it, 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 neither one of them would have been good enough. Okay. Uh, anything else? Nope. Boulder, you are on uh, breath. This one hasn't been damaged yet, except for the. He shot. has been damaged. He's I'm gonna have to just go for it. Not go. as much. I have to attack at disadvantage. I don't have anything to make him visible. Here we go. We get a natural one. I don't have anything. That does. <laughs> natural one. So that's it. So pull a fumble card, please. I slip. Um, DC 10 decks have become prone. We're good. So I don't go prone. I slip and catch my balance. Okay. And I'll attack again. In the hopes, okay. So 25, it's cocked. No, no hits for me. That's it. Okay. And that is Balder. The op- anything else? The opponents are up. Uh, uh, 
Oh, so flopping right down from the center on top of Boulder and ah. Mattias. Oh. Ah. <laughs> One, just like flop it right, just right on top of them, like to the extent that it can be. Wow, well. Hear them clicking around and hissing away. There you go. Let me see. One, two, three, Boulder, four, five, six, Mattias, it attacks Boulder. All right, I'll, I'll do a spell. And. <laughs> And the other one is still on Boulder. So Boulder, you're, you're just, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's still on Boulder. They don't like you today so for wait, some wait, reason. Wait, another one fell, came down from the ceiling? Yes. Yes. 48. Okay. Which will be zero if any of these things hit me. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, can I, uh, one of them is going to attack him? Yes. Can I throw out a cutting word and make put a minus sure. D8 to that, that roll of yours? Do a what to the roll? It's like a minus D8 to his roll. A minus D8, sure. Yeah, I mean, if that's allowed to be done, it's, yeah, it's, it's a, a it's reaction. A, or a reaction, is? yeah. I'll sure, use one of my uh, inspiration stuff. Yep, but, go for no! it. No! <laughs> you know, something like that to disrupt him. I uh, subtract three off his roll. No, okay. Subtract three off of his roll. And so... Uh, and... Oh! He would add a 23, minus 3 becomes a 20. Oh so he just misses <laughs> you. <laughs> the other one. Oh, nice job. Huzzah. What was that? Huzzah. Huzzah. Uh, and the other one. I, uh, that's a pretty solid hit, though. It's Boy, like a 27. Uh, yeah, okay. And roll a con save, sir. Eight, eight, eight. We're good. Okay. 23. 18 piercing and uh, with the save 11 poison. What are you at? 19. Ooh. Duck underwater. Water. Water. No. I'm <laughs> Okay. He won't do it. Uh, won't do it. Okay, uh, that is Boulder. Oh, it's the opponent's. Uh, that was the opponent's turn. Yes. Okay, that was the opponent's turn. Morton, we are at the top of the round. Morton is off. Uh, Morton is going to try and go for it. He will try to cast a fairy fire in there. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can light him up. Uh, what's their we'll DC save? <laughs> DC 16. <laughs> 16 save, and that's a what type of save? Uh, it's a dex save for that dex, one. Dex, okay. Which probably isn't uh, great, but... 8 plus 3, 11. 14 plus 3 is a 17. Okay, so one glows and okay, one Okay, pick which one you want glowing. Uh, we'll make the new one glow. The new one is glowing. I like that. Okay. And anything else? Morton? Uh, yes. I inspire Balder to hit harder and faster. Go hit him! Destroy him! Do something! <laughs> Keep them away from me! <laughs> what do I get to add to it? It's a D8. Nice. Very nice. Okay. That was anything else, Morton? No, that's all I can do. Mattias, you are up. You have one completely bright and illuminated in front of you, illuminated with a blue glow as he was very fired by Mattias. And then you have another one to your left, you can see the shimmering form, it's, but Balder is attacking the one to, not your left, your right. Another one to your right, the shimmering form, Balder is attacking it. So you have the one in front of you completely illuminated, straight up, no disadvantage to attack. It is unhurt. I'll attack it. Okay. I'll attack it. And that is... Uh, 18 plus 3, 19. 22 hits. And the damage... Is 11. 11 points as your sword hacks into it. Second attack, if you're using it. Yeah. Natural 20. Natural 20. <laughs> pull a, somebody pull a critical card for him. Uh, uh, double damage arm. Yes. Saving throw DC. Okay. Stra- oh, yeah, he doesn't have any items. Uh, is, that, is that with bonuses? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Whatever you roll, double. Yep. Doubled it. Yeah, multiply it by two. Everything. Just, just everything. Just everything. Every, just add it all up. Whatever you were going to hit, and then double it. Just whatever you got, just oh, okay. double it. So uh, it's just too much math to do it any other way. 16 total. 16 more points of damage to it. 
Huzzah! That, that's that's what I would have done without the double. So 32. Oh, so, so 32. 32. Oh, wow. So 32 yes. and then 11. You just did 43 points of damage to it. Holy crap. Yeah. Wow. Anything else? You see, no, you see Mattias his sword bashing into this thing, taking out huge chunks of it. Okay. Uh, Zyman, you are up. I pop out of the water again. Another one? <laughs> ah! Oh, since that's the one I can see the best. You're like Marlon Brando in Apocalypse Now <laughs> yeah, coming yeah. out of the water. <laughs> but unlike him, the you, you're like, I'm going back. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, the horror. That's that. All right, I'm, I'm going to uh, I'll cast Firebolt at the one Which one? that I can see. Okay, the one so that's on Mattias. Fireball? Fireball? No, 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 just the bolt. Fireball. Fireball. Just, just a bolt? Uh, 18. Nice. 18 hits. Just hits. Nine points of damage. Nine points on top of Matty's is 43. Okay, it is still up, but he's, hurt, he's hurting. He's not like, not at death's door or anything like that, but he's... And then you <laughs> see if he notices so you. Run silent, run and he notices you. Submerge, run silent, run And he does not notice you. Okay. That's it, Simon Balder. You are up, followed by the opponents. I will attack the one on the left. Here we go. No. Can't. Can't. Wait, don't forget, forget, you got my. uh, (laughs) Wouldn't matter, never mind. (laughs) We can't afford to miss. Four, 13, plus a D8. Uh, No. 15. Uh, 15, just three shy. Right, Anything else? I'll do my second attack. There we go. 27 to 27 hit. hits. You're whoosh, whoosh, Eight, nine, whoosh, ten, whoosh. 13 damage. As you teased it in front of you, and then, okay. I uh, tried. 13. <laughs> okay, this one. Now he's starting to look hurt. The one that you were in that was in the middle. Anything else, Balder? Uh, no. Okay, the the bad guys that one on Balder chomps away and he hits make a con say oh he, he is um if you're using shield he's at a 25 okay well I guess as my bonus I'll use second wind just to heal some HP okay and then I will use shield oh I'm sorry I didn't ask if you had it okay so the shield will block the 25 yeah. yes whoosh the shield blocks 25, and 10 plus 19. The, on Mattias, the one on Mattias, a 24, he connects with he you. <laughs> Mattias, make a con save. Okay. Uh, on 19? 19, you saved. So you take 13 piercing. And eight, 13 piercing, eight uh, poison. Well, I am at negative three again. Amazing how I went to negative three precisely twice in the same game. Uh, well, you can't go to negative in this game. You, you just fall over, though. Floating in the... Yes, yeah, you're sinking. Fl- sinking because he's in heavy armor, but somehow he made it to lean on the wall. No. <laughs> So much as the learned how to breathe, even, even in heavy armor and through water. Okay, that is the opponents. Morton, you are up. You One. see Mattias fall into the water. No! I will, um, first both, I will, both going underwater, pull out my loot, and I'm just like, start playing and throwing out dark bolts at that guy first. At which guy? This one, the oh. one that's hurt. Okay. Let's see how that works. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to re-roll those, because <laughs> we need to at this point. That's better. 19 and a 22. Both hit. You're two. What are you casting? Uh, Eldritch Blast. Four. Two. Bolts go flying into it. 16 points of damage. 16 points. <laughs> And it collapses into the water. And then I will use a bonus action and toss out a healing word to Mattias to stabilize him. 
What does that do? That does a D4 plus five. I can get a D4 over here. There we go. Seven hit points healed. You're at seven, Mattias. You 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 feel oh, yourself yeah, go black and go under, and all of a sudden you. Your head comes spells. back up above the water as you're gasping for air. You're like, what I the heck uh, hit me? But you're back at seven hit points. I don't know whether to think that divine intervention is, is, is currently on my side or whether I am simply infuriatingly lucky. Mattias, or Morton, rather. It's your bard. You owe your bard beer when you get to a tavern. <laughs> Morton and Neil. Oh, that's all Morton can do. He's, 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 uh, I do use my bonus action. Perhaps Doom itself is simply forsaking me. <laughs> Mattias, you are up, believe it or not. <laughs> okay, there's the one in front of me, yeah? Yeah, you use half your movement to get up, and but it's only... Uh, it's, it's in front of Balder now. The other one in front of you, Morton killed it with two firebolts. Eldritch Blast. Eldritch okay, Blast. So Pretty far, close. How far is it until I can hit the one near It's Baldur? You can get, you can, it's five feet away. You've got 15 feet of movement with the difficult terrain. You can, you can get there, no problem. Okay. You push I forward in the yeah, water, okay. sloshing forward. It's invisible, so this one is invisible, so you've got disadvantage on your attack. So I'm hitting it from behind? No. Or? No, you're kind of like okay. right next to Balder. It's pretty big. <laughs> okay, so my first probably would have, well, how can you even get them down here? You can get me down here. Come down here. Can make it appear whenever I want. So I have, oh, I have 21 total to hit. You hit! And my damage is... To. I feel like it's cheap, but I got it. Nine. I think we need it right now. Nine points of damage! It is still up. Anything else, sir? My second attack... First roll, 16, second, 14. So 25 to hit. 25 hits. Your sword slams into the carapace despite being invisible. You can feel it cutting into the this and going into the mushy insides. 12 damage. 12 more points now. It's like very badly wounded. <laughs> Anything else? It's still yeah. up though. It seems to be, pardon the cliche, hanging on by a thread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> boom, boom. Okay, that's Mattia Zyman. You are up. Speaking of hanging on by a thread. Huh. Another firebolt. And that'll miss. Whoosh. You have no other really good spells in there? He's invisible. I'm rolling at disadvantage on everything. Magic missile or something? Yeah. Anything no. else, sir? No, that's it. No, Zyman, Balder, you are up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, what to do? I don't want to burn a slot, but I can take yes. the cantrip. Well, right about now, slot, I think you need to just start burning a slot. <laughs> These guys forget, are down I always to forget nothing. to do it, but I guess I'll like uh, have my raven swirl around him to give me uh, advantage. Okay. He'll do the help Your energy. raven swirling around the flickering lights and the shimmering webs around the area. So here we go. Uh, 23. 23 hits. Okay, and that is going to be... An eight. What is that? Thirteen. Thirteen points of damage. Yes. Your hammer slams into it, and you just feel the carapace collapse underneath oh, the hammer okay. as it like squashes the thing, and the legs get pushed down into the water, oh, yeah. and they disappear beneath the water. Oh, oh. <gasps> that was rough. Oh boy. I would like to take all twenty-four eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here for a minute. <laughs> sure. You go. Let I me mean, see. Is that how many are on the figures? I can't even count. Well, eight on a spider. Is there eight on a spider? Okay. Oh, there's another spider. I forgot. There's, yeah. there's, there's, there's 30 to us. Roll percentile die, if you will. Percentile. Possibility of 30 to us. 93? So 93. So, yeah, we'll just say uh, 21 of them. That's probably close to 93. Tw or 22. 22 of them. All right. 93. Per 22 of them are in reasonably good shape. Nice. There's still a bunch There's of little... There's got to be one benefit to spiders. There's one little bunch... 
There's a bunch of little spiders crawling all over the place, and you guys are brushing them off to yourselves. So you managed to find a lot of broken potion bottles, but you also managed to find 12 uh, decent potion bottles, right. if you will. Ooh, so no from bags. each bag, as a party, pull six. Pull six? Right. Does that make And however you guys want to put them together. What do we got? What do we got? I took four out. You want to get two more? Or you want to get some? I got a greater gallon. All right, I'll grab two more. So you took six out of that bag and six out of that bag, right? I got three, two three, more. Four, five. Oops, I missed one. And you managed to They're find... Right. That's good. You Potion find... Of superior healing? Ooh, greater gallon. Oil of slipperiness. Potion of supreme. And regular gallon. And two potions of healing. Oh, you got new ones. Ooh, Ooh I think you like these. Giant strength. Here. This is what we got. That's what I need. You, <laughs> you managed to find That's rummaging nice. around, brushing spiders off of yourself. Me too. You two should just take that. I heard there were scroll cases in that. Oh, I'm sorry, did I? One, two. Why else look at this? I could use a healing potion. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay, cool. Don't forget Reiner's in there, too. Oh, oh yeah, Reiner, well, you gotta give him some. There's a greater. He, that's good. He could probably use a potion of giant strength. <laughs> you also find... Yeah, the giant strength's good for him. We'll give that to Matias, storm giant strength. Storm giant strength, nice. I'll take the frost giant, or do you do you benefit for strength increases? <laughs> Tons. <laughs> I'll take the holy water, since I'm about to go heal it with that. Unless you want to take me from an 8 to like a 13. <laughs> I'll, take I'll take that one, that's cool. And then we got a bunch of healing. We'll just hold on to these four for now. We got oil slipperiness, cool stuff. You continue to search the room. Yes, sir. You find <laughs> yeah. to leave. lots of <laughs> broken scroll tubes, but you f manage to find eight scroll tubes that are in decent shape. Do you open them up? Well, I'm a lore just... bard, so I'll definitely take a look at them. Okay, you find one scroll of animal, animal messenger. I can send these to you later if you okay. want. Two yeah. scrolls of healing word, one scroll of spider climbing, Ooh, two is... scrolls of tongues, one scroll of Evard's black tentacles, and one scroll of Dimension Door. Ooh. Oh. oh. <laughs> Very nice. I don't know what of those I can learn, but I'll try. <laughs> How do scrolls work? Well, I can copy them into... I am going to... Uh, do they give you the ability to cast them, or do you need... Like, yeah, I think you can read them to cast them, but then they're I'm going burnt. to cast my aura of uh, uh, vitality. Transcribe it. I, I start can. healing people. Oh, you can learn. Okay. You can learn. So... <sighs> Yeah, no, no. Starting with the physician. I don't think I'll. I don't think uh, I'll what was I at? Learn it though. Fifteen. So I am going to just so I don't have them here. I'll use two on myself. So it's four d six. So six seven. Eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen. I will use three on on Mattius there. <laughs> so it's two, four, six, sixty-six here. So we're all sixty-six. We're all sixty-six. What's over there? Three, six, five. Okay. Should I use this now? Three, three, five, and six. Twenty-three total. All right, so your hit points restored. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm up to thirty. Now. <laughs> huh? Ah. Uh, Supreme healing. Yeah, if you want, uh, Zyman, I'm gonna give you. Uh, uh, I'm not thirty-one. Oh, you are. Okay. I'm not too bad for what. Oh, all right. Percentage you do us. <laughs> Two sixty-six for you. See how that feels. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. about halfway. Alright. And I'll use the last 46 on me. Four, six. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, really up to 42. I'm happy with that. I'm almost out of spells. Yes. <laughs> Same. I don't know how much further you want to push in. <laughs> Morton looks very drained. <laughs> oh, he also cast Prestidigitation to clean his hair and his armor. There. So he kind of looks really good now. Get the muck out of everything. Yeah. Gotta look good while I'm doing this. Draw myself off. Yep. <laughs> Love cantrips. <laughs> uh, I think it might be a good idea to... Uh, as much as I want to keep going, I don't have the spells. If we get another, another fight like this, I'm... I don't have too much more to, to throw out. <laughs> How about we push on and then we run away if that happens? <laughs> it's up to you guys. <laughs> Disengage and run. Fair enough. Yeah, let's go in the next room. Okay. Which which way? So you see so a little. I'm not gonna go the animal tunnel. Okay. I feel like that. Mm. You want to crawl in an animal tunnel? No, I'm not invisible anymore. If I was invisible, uh, I would think I about guess, it. But no. I guess we'll just check out the room. Um, so, what was the, so uh, you look in the rest of the room. Oh, that's the tunnel you're talking about that yeah. I saw? Yeah, that far. We thought it was in that far. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what I thought it was. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, do you guys go back out in the hallway? Yes. Uh, okay. I don't know. Should we just go down the tunnel? Is the tunnel submerged, or it's like partially submerged? And it might looks like it goes. You look at you look into it, and it looks like with your glowing ball, you still have your rock. Yeah. And it, it looks like it, you're gonna have to swim underwater, but you don't know for how far. If you probably not the best then. Oh, I, I can swim. <laughs> oh, I don't know about you guys. <laughs> We'll go back in the hallway. With okay. Weighted down. You Unless go back you want, out in the hallway. Push yeah, you don't want to go that way and report back. Nope. <laughs> Before we go on the ceiling where these things came from, is there anything hanging from the ceiling? There's like webs. Uh, there's just like a sheen of no, webs. It, it almost up. looks like uh, a if Halloween I keep, I keep these, cotton spread. <laughs> but nothing like wrapped up big or something like that up in there. <laughs> like a quick investigation look. There's nothing obvious. There's lots of, you These see lots of little cool. I don't like baby spiders scattering right. all over the place. Right. Who's drunk? I want to make sure we're not Who's forgetting anything up there. They think they know in our haste anything. to look at everything down here. <laughs> There's lots of broken stuff floating in the water in this area. It looks like broken, okay. looks like a set oh, of nice. shells. Yeah. 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 The tunnel, does it look like it was bad, like, but... came out this way naturally? Or does it look like something dug its way he through? Like, how's it look? Roll an investigation check. Thirteen. Uh, you're not really sure. It's really kind of hard to tell because part of, part of it's underwater. Right. It's about three feet of water in the room. You guys are pushing, wading your way through. Okay. Do I hear anything down there? You hear spiders everywhere. You oh. lean in and listen. You hear. Yeah, I don't want to go. All right, we're going the hallway. Yeah, I don't want to go. To the hallway. Okay. Okay, so you guys make down your way over toward the hallway. Continuing down the hallway you were in before, thin wisps of cobwebs stretch across the passage. Those in the center are broken by your passage or rapidly burn away in the fires of your torch. But other strands still caress your face invisibly. Oh. They cling stickily to your clothes. You seem to feel something tiny scurrying upon your exposed neck. As you pause farther ahead, you hear the faint scraping of stone against stone. For about 30 seconds, this... And then it stops. And to the extent it can be quiet in here, it is quiet again. That does not sound like a spider. No, it does not. 
you have another invisibility spell that you can throw out? Look, I do. Being underwater imposes no penalty. Nice. On the time <laughs> That's kind of water. Swimming so loud. Uh, I have one. I, I could go invisible once. <laughs> Just myself. If you want me to take a peek. You can always do that, or I could try stealthing over there. But invisibility is safer. Yeah. <laughs> you could do oil of slipperiness. In the water? Yeah. What does it do? I mean, I don't even know what that does. Freedom a, of movement. Freedom of movement. So no hindering on any movement, no and you get to move freely even in the water. Oh. And apparently while underwater, no penalties on your movement or attacks. Oh. Kind of might come in handy that, if you go like, any deeper. Yes, it would. <laughs> All right, let's head in there. Would you like me to go first to see what's in there? Are you going invisible? Oh, I, I will if you if you wish me to. He likes being invisible. I think you do better being invisible. Well, I will cast invisibility on myself. Seems to enjoy it less. Yeah. Time. Venture up the hallway. You have the stone with you still? Uh, yeah, because otherwise I can't see. Right? So the, the floating ball <laughs> slowly moves down the hallway. Just follow the ball. <laughs> the hallway empties into what must have been some type oh, of room. Oh, no. Sconces. Would it be called the great room? <laughs> <laughs> this little room that I'm in at the end of the hallway. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The hallway empties into what must have been some type of room. Sconces on the walls are covered with webs. Stuck to the wall on the left, you see a steel-headed ballista bolt. Longer than a man is tall. Just to your, about the, eh. Put your finger on the map there. Now move toward you. Right about there, stuck in that wall. A steel-headed ballista bolt deeply embedded into the stone. Nearly the length... Uh... Length... I don't know what I wrote there. <laughs> the, the back of the bolt is fletched with two-inch high wooden fletches. There is a groove in the back end of the bolt. It seems to have come from the hall that extends to a 90 degrees to the right. Good thing you're invisible. Waterlogged, bending, and cracked, there are the remains of some type of large, tall, ornate table in the room. Oh. Again, there is what appears to be a hallway going off 90 oh, wow. degrees, and yeah. what it, the bolt is stuck into the wall as if it came from that direction. So it looks like it came from down this way. Yeah, I, I will like kind of walk to the corner and peek my head, peek my head around. You're telling me a bunch of spiders um, reloaded it. Yeah, right. <laughs> I will take the rock and lob it down the hall a little little bit to see if I can see anything. You said okay. there was a nice table? Well, I don't know if <laughs> nice is the right word. Waterlogged, bending, and cracked. There are the remains of some type of large, tall, ornate table. No. Okay. Where is it? Down here? I'll no, it's in, in the, the middle of that room. Yeah, I'll take a look at that while he's peeking around the corner. Morton's like, be careful. <laughs> okay, so the table's like in the middle of the room. Okay. Are you going well, up? Oh, we're all following him. Okay. I, I pictured like Scooby-Doo, we're all like walking behind okay, him. Okay, so right now I'm assuming you're staying toward that side of the room. Yeah. All right. Could, um, you go up and you look at the table. Um, roll an investigation check. Natural 20. Okay. You see, just as you start to glance it, it is covered with hundreds of minute insects and centipedes crawling all over the wood. And it's like rotted. If you were to, not that you did, but if you were to like stick something in it, it would just like kind of start to crumble. It's just been soaking in water for who knows how long. Right. Gross. And then it makes me worry about what we're walking in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got, I got a bad Okay, what are you doing? That's all that's in the that's all you see in this room. Alright. Um Is that, what do you see up there? Well I want I wanna take the stone that's in my hand and throw it forward. Okay, you throw as far it. as I can, like the twenty five feet, twenty feet? Eh, sure. You throw it twenty feet forward. 
20, uh, let me say, let me see about that far, I'm going to guess. So it splashes somewhere in the water over here and then goes out. So you quickly saw something like that. Obviously, you can't see into those uh -huh. little niches, but you could see that there were little niches off to either side. It appeared to be some type of crypts. Their, their tops rising above the water level. I'll explain what I saw, but I, I'm worried about this, this crossbow bolt. Hopefully whatever fired it does not have more ammunition. It could be a yeah. secret panel on the floor that we will have no chance of seeing uh, as it's buried in water. Do you think we should go the other way? To the tunnel? Or do you, I mean... I don't know if this way is safe. <laughs> I don't think any way is safe. I didn't think we should come here in the first place. <laughs> but you seem to think <laughs> dreams mean something. You're muted. You, you clearly have not, uh, not spent enough time amongst us. You'll get used to it eventually. <laughs> we're, we're, we're all fools here. Dreams often do mean something. And we will find when we get to the end what they were trying to tell. I, I'm going to... We're debating on... Peek around the corner. A tunnel? Or walking down that hallway. Ca oh. Cast a fireball. In hopes that it may catch something on fire down at the end that I may be able to see. <laughs> it comes Good flying comments, right? back at you. <laughs> There's an inspiration <laughs> point. I just kind of want to like reach around and like... Throw a fireball bolt down the hall. Okay. It says if it if it hits anything, it catches it on fire. If it's not being worn, uh, the range for me is 240 feet. Okay. <laughs> um. That makes you visible, you know. Yeah, I know. Okay. Okay. If the the bolt goes shooting, flashing down the hallway, and it also briefly illuminates the hallway hmm. as you uh, as you're allowing you to look down it and at the far end you see a sarcophagus and roll of perception I mean this is, this is like you're looking at a flashing ball yeah. of light going down uh, it doesn't hit uh, it, it might have hit something but it doesn't light anything on fire instantly mm -hmm. but a roll of perception check with dis okay so you didn't notice anything else because it was like looking at a ball of fire going down the hall very very no. quickly well the good news is I didn't see any enemies well the last time we didn't see them either they came from the ceiling but the bad news is I didn't see much of anything mm. shall we go after you, my good man. <laughs> um, oh boy. Should we, like, try swimming our way there? Yeah, we could do that. You didn't see anything that would shoot a giant ballista bolt, did you? Uh, it was merely a brief flash. I did not. I did not see much. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. You got your raven, right? Could you yeah. fly it down there and take a look around? Scout out with him? Sure. Her? Where? Sure, why not? I'll go take a look. Oh, yeah, I got the weasel, too. I don't roll back in my head. <laughs> Your eyes, as you said, you roll, you see Balder goes into the mode. He's the, the Swede from, <laughs> from uh, Umbrella Academy. And, <laughs> and the raven takes off down the hallway you see the outline of what you see there protruding ever so slightly from the wall at this end, just about four, I would say about a foot above the top of the sarcophagus. So it would be about four and a half feet up above what you would think would be the surface. You see the protrusion of a, a hole with a small bar, the tip of a bar, not a small bar, but the small tip of a yeah, bar. So yeah. obviously something is back there. If you will, we'll be trapped. And do I see anything in the little chambers? You see what exactly what you see there. You see off to one side, uh, 
one sarcophagus that's in pretty good shape off to another side, one that's not quite as good, one that's just badly damaged. At the far end, you see a rather ornate one. Okay. Simon, was there like anything else to your dream that you recall about this or anything like that? Do I remember anything from down here about my dream? Yeah. Uh, roll a intelligence check. Uh, unnatural 20. Uh, you, you do recall some, but you recall in the dream the body being brought down into the crypt, being displayed on the table there, and, um, and being laid out, the mourners around him, and then eventually the body being taken down to the far crypt at the end. All right. Um, I'll come back and let everyone know. As long as we stay, as long as we stay low, we should be fine. It's about about uh, four feet off the ground. Okay. So as long as we kind of keep it low, mostly even, underwater, we should be okay. Even if we set something off, it will. It should go over our heads. Well, we don't have anything on the sides. No, we don't. But, but judging, yeah. judging by this one and what I saw over there with the raven, yeah, yeah. as long as we stay low, it should be okay. All right. Maybe we can find the whatever sets it off if we feel around. Go a little slow walking. and just kind of see if it's a trip plate or something. Do you need my help with my with the light enchantment on my shield in any way? Yeah, if you want to come up front, <laughs> use your shield to block it. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I don't know whether that, whether that is guess, required by my code of ethics. I guess I'll go. Or, uh, uh, well, we have the. We do have the light in the middle, right? So I guess I'll do like a military crawl and I'll start going down the hallway. Okay, so the water's about three feet deep. Yeah. Uh, what do you you like? So I'm doing more of a like hands and knees, head just above the water kind of thing. Okay, so you're in the front. So set up a marching yeah. order there if you would, and everybody's kind of doing the same. And I'm like uh, feeling yeah, around, I'm crawling. I'm okay. Like, no, I'll go second or third. Actually, I think Morton's going down below the water. He's going to try to swim off and try to get over to here. Okay, we'll just put him in some kind of order. I mean, you're not, it's going to be hard to squeeze past each other if you're yeah. doing. Does that make well, sense? I guess he's got his light, right? Is that what he's using? So I guess uh, he's got uh, his I, rock. I, 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 I throw it down the hallway. I oh, pick, that's right. I pick up a new rock and light that one on. Okay. Light, light that one up. <laughs> it's illuminated. <laughs> you think you just Everybody's staying down everyone. low. Are you oh, staying right. down low, Mattias, or are you standing up? Or what are you doing? You're muted. You're muted. You're muted. I keep forgetting that. So, let me get this straight. Has the traps mechanism been determined at all? Nope. No. Negative. Baldur's theory is it doesn't matter as long as we're low. <laughs> uh, I will not get up all the way then. <laughs> So you would have to like duck down well, in the water. You should actually your... kind of have like you should be in front with the shield kind of like this, you know, and we all kind of like hang behind it a little bit. So if something comes out, maybe it'll at least hit that first. I okay. I'm, I might. Um, I won't be crawling, but I hope I will be staying low with my shield held at an angle. Yeah. Uh, I will be in such a way that I will, that I will present a small and tall. Uh, uh, reachable target as possible to a potential trap. Okay, so how high are you out of the water? Um, crouching as much as possible. So just your head? Uh, the water's three feet maybe deep. maybe some of my shoulders. So, uh, yeah, if you're foot and a half. Hands and knees, like your foot and a half. More than three feet above the water. You know what, I'll just, I'll just go and crawl <laughs> hands and knees. Okay, so you're crawling. <laughs> And keeping your shield like this, just above yes. your head, so you're so you got about eight inches out of the water. I'm gonna say, <laughs> sound reasonable? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mattias is up front, or yeah. or Balder's up front. One of you guys, and you guys are moving forward. Keep keep going. Continuing on, you come to several crypts. Their tops rising above the water level. In the spaces for sarcophagi, mold clings. To, between the stones of the wall. It grows across the rough surfaces of the stone. Beads of moisture cover fuzzy mold, and the stone is damp. One sarcophagus on the left that you can see there, your left, is intact. But the one on the right appears to have been pried open as if something was trying to get in. 
or get out. Cool, cool, cool. Spiders? The closest (laughs) crypt on the left is closed. Over it, a large spider dangles from a thin strand visible in the torch you carry. It is not moving, and you have a slightly unsettling sensation that it's staring at you. How large? Just a small spider. A small spider. After a moment, the spider skitters up its strands, scuttling into a thin crack in the ceiling. Is there any writing on the sarcophagus? The cough, whatever that thing is, the crypt? Roll an investigation check. Huh. 19. 19. It's tough to make out, but eventually you, you see the, a name. Uh, on the... Uh, on the crypt, and it says Ruprecht on it. <laughs> All of a sudden, <laughs> flashing overhead, <laughs> this bolt goes screaming past you, <laughs> and slams into the far end on the other side, just narrowly missing all of you. Do we hear it reload? Not yet. Can I... Well, I don't know. Should we just run for it? I think it probably haste would probably be best. I want to run for it and kind of hide in this. Boulder stands up and he runs. Yay! Forth has made it! <laughs> I hear footsteps! Footsteps! From the water. <laughs> Here comes a giant spider coming down the hall. Oh, no, it's just boring. From Fireball! The- <laughs> All right, hey, sir. How's it going, guys? Glad I'm to so have you sorry. back. You, you almost missed a song. lot of the fun. Yeah, man. It's like baseball. Oh, we're gonna hold off. It's raining. All right, we're gonna play. Oh, we're gonna hold off. It's raining. Oh, oh we're gonna play. <laughs> Baseball's boring enough as it is already. Right? <laughs> <laughs> wow. But rain delays make it even worse. Hi, right, gentlemen. How's it going? How's it going? You almost killed us, but no grudges. Okay, good. <laughs> as long as After that, you would have been proud of us. Flash of noise. A head comes up from underneath the water. <laughs> <laughs> you see Borinth. Borinth, get down. <laughs> Borinth somehow bizarrely standing in front of you. I've been trying to catch up to you guys. <laughs> I don't know how I'm, I made a turn somewhere. <laughs> Wrong turn in Albuquerque. Yeah. To fill you in, there's a giant trebuchet that's going to kill you, so stay low. Okay. <laughs> that's this more of like a ballista. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. <not> trebuchet. <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. That's cool. I'm done. I'm gonna, hey. What are you guys doing? Um, yeah, I guess I'll go up to that tomb quickly. Which one? The one on the right. The one on the right. So you're running. First first one on the right, yeah. The first one one. on the right. All the way up. All the way. This one. Yeah. I'm sorry. Point to which one it is, please. Is he going to this one, you said? That one right there? Can I fit in there, or should I technically be on the left? Because I don't know if I don't know how big the oh, actual cavity it. is. Yeah, well, I mean, you're not going to be able to squeeze around the end of it. You you would be like you'd have to like crawl up on top of it, or you could just be at one end. Does I, that guess, make sense? I guess I'll go to the left end, the empty empty spot. Okay. Oh, okay. So you're just going as to... a place to hide from the ballista. Oh, I didn't know what you were trying to do. Okay, so you you go to your left into one of these coves, right over yeah, here, somewhere I can fit into. Okay. Okay, you're there. What is everybody else doing? I will stay at the end, towards the end of the hall for now. Okay. You're just kind of like peeking around the corner over here? Yeah. Oh, what are you Whatever. doing, Mattias? <laughs> Nothing. I'm not sure, to be honest. So, we, we know that there's chrysophaguses there, right? Yep. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And we checked them all already? No, we just... Checking them out. This guy's name is Ruprecht, and okay. I could use a hand getting it open. Uh, I'll come over to him. I'll, I'll come over to him. Don't worry. 
Boy, if you come with oh, me, we're going to the big crypt. Okay, let's go. Where's the big one? The down at the end? Yeah. And what does this passage right there think? Do we do we know that that's we there? We think that might have came out of that room. Yeah, well, you, we don't know. Oh, we think that's where it comes from. Okay. Sure. Yeah, we know there's a tunnel here. We don't know it goes over there. Okay, so let's go to this big one right here. Is that what you're saying? Just stay really, really low. Yeah. <laughs> where is that the the thing you're talking about? That's right behind gonna, it. Right behind it. It's a giant it's arrow like in the wall. In this wall? No, it's in this wall. So it shoots. Oh, wall. that way. Okay. Okay. So go down in front of it and just lift it up towards the ballista thing, right? If we lift the front up right towards it. Yeah. Could do that. <laughs> it unblocks it. Okay. It looks like know. a big piece of stone, right? But yes, I it does. That. Okay. Okay, let me... Uh, if you want to listen really closely for whatever this mechanism is doing behind the wall. Understood. <laughs> let me start with Mattias and with... Morton, you guys are over at the the first crypt that you got. We passed that says Rubric on it, correct? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Want to try to open it? So I think you got the strength to do it. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yes. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Is that a fun. yes, Mattias? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Kill me, dude. Okay, roll. Both of you roll strength checks and combine them, please. Oh, wow, I suck at that. I got a five. Uh, that's a 23. Either two of you, you get on either side of it and you, to the extent you can, it's got, you notice it's got like a stone lid and you, the two of you lift and you're like, <laughs> you feel it start to come over you're like, and then you just drop it. It's you heavy. feel like... Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> it's heavy. Morton really didn't put any strength into it. <laughs> five. He's just like, here, go, go. Oh, we didn't do it. <laughs> I'll have to try again. Okay, up with... Um, you guys are up at the, the farthest crypt. You pass two other crypts on your right as you go toward it. Uh, the... As the light flickers, it sends shadows dancing on the walls. At the far end of the web-covered hall, you find one rather ornate crypt. The lid, though covered with scratch marks, appears undisturbed. At each of the four corners, there are round stone dowels flush with the surface. They appear to be about four inches in diameter. In the center of the lid, is a stone-framed panel with what looks like sand in it. The lid, clearly larger and clearly heavier than the others. Uh, above the crypt, there is another stone-framed window, for want of a, a better word. However, the area in the frame is black. But as you look at it, as the two of you look at it, it starts to form words. They, it just slowly, it swirls. And do you speak German or read German? Do you read German? I can't read. So you see words. <laughs> so you see words. I read real good. Up on. Okay. Do you read German? Everything. Okay. Um, okay. Twenty intelligence. There's, right. there's, there's there's writing. I I can't. I, I can't. I don't know what this is. I'm on my way. I'll start trudging up the hall. I guess I, I guess I'd be no, smart enough to wreck you. Slosh. <laughs> it took me forever to get my hair. I can't read. Wow. Yeah, the internet's been a little wonky today. <laughs> you slosh through the water, and you force your way toward the, up toward it. We're staying low, right? Is that what you we're guys, doing? Yeah, you guys are. Yeah. We haven't heard any clicking sounds of okay. reloading. I'm yet. hidden in the What does this area. say? What does this say? <laughs> oh, that's my sir. <laughs> okay, before I come back to you, what is Morton and um, Mattias doing? You want to try again? Sure. That was a short. That was a short. Sure. There was a lipped, a lipped shore. 
Okay. Sure. Roll <laughs> strength, combined strength checks. Roll and tell me what it is. 17. That's a little 17. better. 17. Matthias got a 3. Yeah. Uh, and mine is a, uh, a 19. The two of you put everything you can into it. And it, now it feels like it's you feel the seal ever start to, to to scrape and then like a whiff of air and it starts to break and then it's just ah, you're not doing your part, Matthias. No, you're not doing your part. Ah, and it just slips back down oh again. <laughs> back with um Well <coughs> we tried. it's not going to open, perhaps it was not meant to. I'm gonna agree with you on that one. <laughs> We get the heavies over here later. You walk away and it slides off. <laughs> it doesn't lift, it pushes. Yeah, yeah just push. <laughs> Don't lift. You're going the wrong direction. <laughs> okay. The words start to form in the in the window. There's this stone frame and this black, almost as if it's black glass, and it's swirling. And and then there's a frame a stone frame on the center, and it, the sand, it's not really sand, but it appears to be like sand. It starts to move ever, and then it smooths itself out. And the words appear above it, and it says, when one does not know what it is, then it is something. When no one knows what it is, then it is nothing. Read this front side first. <laughs> One does not know what it is. Does he tell us? Do you tell us that what it's saying? Do you like read it out loud? Uh, the words? Yeah, like what he just told you. Yeah, I'll read it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll read it right there. So that means, Balder, it's something. Because <laughs> I have no idea what it is. <laughs> well, we saw him with the silver ring, the body they put in there. So maybe the word there should be a word before the last word in the clue for you. That is probably the word current. Okay. Let me hand this. So is that is that is that uh, something else that it told you that you were just reading, or is that just what he just read to us? Nah, I don't know what that was. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, okay. It seems as if it. He's got a 20 intelligence. Yeah. Oh, so he understands To everyone more else's... Oh, okay. <laughs> to everyone else's... <laughs> three. Uh, My eight? Well, Ryan's got a 16. But so, um, is oh, yeah, to a 10, an 8, and a 10, and you, you get the idea. Nice so, <laughs> some things you just, like, give people advantage on rolls, but I gave, because of his high intelligence, yeah. gave oh, okay. additional got clue. It. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you gonna clue us in right, on so this? So does it tell us just to open read, it? Read the riddle again. When one does not know what it is, it is something. When, when one knows. does not know what it is, then it is something. When one knows what it is, then it is nothing. Do you know what it is? Yeah, I think it has. That obviously has to do with, with what lies in front of us. But, but do you know what it is? I mean, mm. so it's oh. something. I had I had dreams of this place and. The spiders and the, and the magic, but what it is exactly, I, I am not sure. Do you know how this would open? Is there a special way we have to open this? Like, is that sand something you can touch and move around, or...? Where were the... You said yes. something about dowels. Do you were touch they, it? Well, I, you're not there. I'm not there. <laughs> you said something about the dowels. Like, which way are the dowels facing? Across? Like, over top of it, or...? I want to understand where the dowels mm -hmm. are. In the fork... In the four <laughs> corners uh -huh. of the casket, there are large, what would be like stone dowels, sunk oh, and what? flush cool. with the surface. Oh, is this endeavor? Flush with the surface? Course. Yep. So, open so, like, if you were to look at the surface, you would see, like, you could. Oh, so we just see a circle there. Yep. Like we would just. But see you can tell it looks like something is. It's different than the All rest. Right. So it doesn't. So what I'm understanding is that this can't slide off. It has to be lifted straight up. Because oh, that's what the dowels are for. To keep that's it what from the, to keep it from come, be shifting, being pulled. So you have to go straight up with it in I'll, order to. I'll run my it. hands in the sand. But it's most likely. Okay. Walk. Does anything change? 
Um, Did the words disappear? No. It it almost looks like you could write in the sand. I, I will try to write the word open in German in the sand. Nothing <laughs> in it. The, words, the word open appears, and then it, the sand almost yeah. like smooths yeah, over. Out. And... The words on the screen do not change. When one does not know what it is, it is something. When one knows what it is, it is nothing. So what is something when you don't know it? I don't know. A lie? A mystery? A secret? I don't know. (laughs) Schrodinger's cat? What is Schrodinger's cat? Oh, that's the idea that like, does it have you, something to do you, with these spiders? If you put the cat in a box, everywhere? the cat can either yeah. be alive or the cat can be dead. Either one. It's, it's, like, it's, it's a quantum yeah, mechanics. It exists in two states because you can't. <laughs> so what is that, that? That that process. It's a philosophical thing. It's like because you can't see the cat that's in the box, you don't know whether the cat is alive or dead. So the cat's both alive and dead at the same time. It can be. Both states. There, yeah, it explains why electrons can matter. be in two spots at one time and all that craziness. Yeah. Quantum theory. Okay. <laughs> so you have quantum theory. Too. Yes. <laughs> I don't think you're off with writing on the casket. Yeah, I, we just I have, have to, to figure, figure out, to figure out what the word is. Yeah. So try writing in secret, like he said. And what was the, uh, not, the extra clue the that you had got? I mean, it's not quite nothing, I guess. Uh, uh, just what, what, what is this know. endeavor? Yeah. If, if, hmm? what, what the endeavor is. Current. You know what it is? It's the no current endeavor. endeavor. The current that's, endeavor. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Or a lie opening too. the casket, I suppose. Right? So, mm, a lie. Could a lie be a lie. Could be secret. Could as be soon lie. as you know it's a lie, now it doesn't matter. Yeah. I will write a lie in German. What else works? A what? Lie. Like a lie. It smoothed itself back over and the word and the words appear again. Try a secret? What else works? I will, I will try a secret works? in German. Uh, it seems to pause for a moment as if it's thinking about it. And then it smears over. And that took longer. Ooh, the lie? Yeah. So it's it's something, secret. something around secret. It's like a mystery. All right, it's mystery in German. Again, it seems to take longer to disappear. It almost, it's like smoothing, and then eventually it disappears. Maybe not in German. Well, well everything is in know. German here, so. so. Oh, okay. Hmm. A mystery and a secret are close. Yeah. A puzzle? Put, put web. Or a puzzle? Uh, I will. I will write web in German. It quickly disappears. All right. So try puzzle. I'll try puzzle. It seems to take longer than right. any of the other like words. Like we're around it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're hot. No, it's like horseshoes and hand grenades. Yeah. So puzzle, puzzle. <laughs> What's worse than a puzzle? A conundrum. A... Key. Maybe it's not just one word. This is true. Maybe it's more than one word. <laughs> dream? Dream? You mm-hmm. did have a dream about this place. I did have a dream, but that does not seem to it doesn't fall seem to fit in mind. No. Did it? Oh, is that the I'll, write, I'll write it out anyway. It quickly disappears. <laughs> I know that the DM emphasized a particular word in what you were reading. I, I don't know what that was. Maybe you want to rethink that. <laughs> I don't you are, know. You are the smart one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not that smart. Only the character's smart. Come on. What was that word that was a, there was an emphasis on? Uh, I, will, I'll, I will write endeavor in the sand. See if that does anything. It yeah, quickly it disappears. Happens. But it's our current endeavor. Current. Current. Okay, current, current mystery, current key, current. current. Maybe it current. I don't know. Hmm. It's like a mystery puzzle. Try current mystery, current. I don't know. I, I, 
I'll try current current mystery. It it pauses. It seems like for a little while, yeah. and then it disappears. Puzzle got us the closest. Puzzled it. Yeah. And there's no. no I'm just going. Home. There's no like. <laughs> <laughs> no piece, no. No no pieces going. around. Um, no, nothing else that looks like it. Maybe puzzled. Uh, I don't know. Reiner and Mattias. Oh, back. Or not Reiner and Mattias. Mattias and Morton. Back to you for a moment. What are you guys doing? Um. Now Mattias is going to probably be observing the uh, the, the, the various sarcophagi in, in his in, on it uh, independently, just to see. I, can't hit it. I, don't I mean. Understand. For himself, what, what who the others uh, were called, if nothing else, for out of curiosity's sake. Okay. Um, you start maneuvering around in the room, looking at the other ones. Understood. Um, Morton, are you doing the same with him, or? Uh, at this point, I'm going to slosh up because yeah, this is kind of like tickling my fancy. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. I'm kind of over here, kind of losing what everyone there? else here. What are we currently doing? Hey, um. There's a lore bard, you know. What are we doing? Do I know, like, <laughs> I can't think of him right now, but maybe he might know something about his present puzzles, history. mysteries, something like that. Draw on something. Or maybe I heard this kind of riddle before, or something similar, or other words we might be able to use. Roll, uh... Or it could be an investigation check with advantage, I guess. Advantage. Mm-hmm. Oh. 16, 19. Okay, that's a pretty good roll. The other one was a one. <laughs> Stupid puzzle box. <laughs> <laughs> Can't I just smash it open the side of my hammer? You could. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. You could try. <sighs> I'm trying to get... Mm. Maybe it's just, maybe it's as simple as just like puzzle. What are we like, currently doing? Maybe it has to maybe be some past tense puzzle. <laughs> Puzzling puzzle. I think it's maybe it's just referring that the box itself is a puzzle. How about solution? Maybe it's a type of puzzle. What's that? Answer. Is that one right there. What is that? They okay, I just want to are sure. puzzle like maybe it's a type I, I, of puzzle. riddle. Try riddle. I'll, I'll, I will write riddle on this side. One of the four posts <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. okay. descends. It goes. <laughs> okay, so I think that means there's three the more words. Sand <laughs> disappears. And on the screen, another word, oh another sentence appears. Jeez, that one took us a while. <laughs> what did your thing say? Uh, it says, what are these type of puzzles? Uh, it said they uh, are. Uh, so that's what you meant by current endeavor. Who makes me doesn't want me. Who buys me doesn't need me. Who uses me doesn't care. Who makes me doesn't need me. Who buys me doesn't need me. Who who makes me doesn't want me. Who Who buys me doesn't need doesn't need me. Who uses me doesn't care. I will write tool in the sand. It quickly disappears. Okay. Could it be an army? I'll, I'll, I'll write army. It quickly disappears. <laughs> Who buys armies? <laughs> well, mercenaries, people? right? People buy armies. Right? I mean... So the person who makes it doesn't need it? Yeah. The person who makes it doesn't need it. Doesn't want it. No, the person who buy buys it doesn't. Want I will. I will. I will. Uh, right. Oh yeah. Tomb in the sand. Oh. Oh. 
I see where you're going. Snap. Ooh. <laughs> the other <laughs> pillar. Oh, Mrs. Slowly, bring the egghead. Uh-huh. <laughs> Slowly descends. The words in the frame, it swirls to blackness and then it. Do you guys want to continue? Just a little yes. bit. Yeah. <laughs> let's finish that. Let's finish yeah. that. I just got yes, it. Yes, no? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't want to hold any back. Matthias, are you good? Let's play some D&D. So. Come on. <laughs> Man, just got here. Well, why is there even a question? Okay. The words disappear <laughs> again, and then new words appear, passed from father to son, and shared between brothers. Its importance is unquestioned, though it is used more by others. Your name? I yeah, like, I like that, that answer. Name is a good, good. I kind of like that. Have you been studying? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sometimes that book you carry with you. Sometimes <laughs> thoughts just <laughs> wor- things. Like they're not even words because I can't even read them. They just pop in. Yeah. All right. All right. Surname and the and the sands. It the third yeah, stone. stone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm exhausted. I I'm have a, I'm three a, levels of exhaustion. I'm going to grab Lauren. I'm all for that. <laughs> just going to have to lean, lean against the wall there. I, I'm so confused. I, I'm just staring at him in amazement. <laughs> Did it work? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's one left. So at the very least, we can pivot. I mean, I said name, you said surname. <laughs> I don't know. I said name, you said surname. I don't know. Your surname is the name I, of your no. father. Oh. Your last That's, name. Sir, my father's name was not surname. <laughs> <laughs> it is Simon surname. Simon surname. Was your father's name surname? Well, I'm surname. <laughs> it's a fourth name. Nobody ever called me sir before, anyway. <laughs> the sand disappears. The block goes black. The frame goes, the area in the frame goes black. And then words appear. I am what men love more than life, fear more than death, or mortal strife. What dead men have and rich require, I am what contented men desire. I need to hear that again. Yeah. And what men love more than life, fear more than death, or mortal strife, what dead men have and rich require, I am what contented men desire. Peace. Rest. Well, let's test it. Let's try. Let's yeah, try rest. Let's go through each one again <laughs> and test it with the word rest. Yeah, I did. <laughs> What's your insight? What is in your empty hand? What men love more than life? What would be nothing? nothing? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing works. Nothing. Yeah. Fear more than death. Nothing. Nothing. What dead men have, they have nothing. nothing. Yeah. And the rich require, they require nothing. Right. And I'm. And contented men desire. They, they don't need anything. Okay. I'll put nothing yeah. on there. Nothing. Okay. I think it's it. Yeah. Let's scribble in German. Nada. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The fourth <laughs> pillar descends. Really? Nice. That was good. I will okay. step away. From, from it. <laughs> <laughs> right, I did ball, my job. Go on, on the other side, and I'll go on the other side. Mm-hmm. And we can well, slide it right off. Anything? Do you want to have Matthias give you a hand because he's got the high strength? Has, here. has the sand hey. changed? Or the right. sand yeah, look, look at look at Balder, <laughs> and look at Just me. Try and push. Okay. Well, well, we, do you want to take it and slide it off between us? Is that what we're gonna? I do? mean, do we hear anything, hear anything click or anything like that? Or well, the pillars went yeah, down. The pillars went down. Okay. If nothing else is coming up on the screen. It's just blank. It goes blank. And the sand's still all, there. Is that going to be Matias too? You think so? It's going to be super heavy. Look hey. at this thing. I know. Well, look at these things. Look, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you say so. <laughs> but we have the potion of joy. Right, well, I'm just going to kind of <laughs> duck in here a little bit. And 
You could probably get squeeze four people around it if you wanted to. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah just single right on the my side. Matthias, get there. over here. <laughs> right, so if we go like this. What is it? We need your help lifting this sarcophagus lid. Here, here, like this. Is that what you're saying we could do? Oh, yep. This again? You can squeeze right, yeah. in there. Yeah. Okay. I suppose so. All four of you guys. All right. I'll help out. I got the lowest strength. Isn't really? It? What's your strength? Ten. I got a, I got an eight. Oh no, I have an eight. Uh, oh, I'm right. saying, get your butt in here. <laughs> I'll stand next to you. Between the two of us. Well, that's He's ready with really fireball. fireball. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to stand okay, next. Okay, everybody, <laughs> roll a strength check and tell me what your Could combined stand number is. Uh, we can do this. We, we can do this. Oh, hey. Uh, strength check. 17. Yes. Combined strength check. I got a 28. So that's plus. I got a 17. Oh, 24 then. 23. What's okay. your total number together? Who wants that? Oh, 20, uh, 24. Wait. Plus my proficiency? No, he's acting. Add, add everybody up. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, but do I add my proficiency? Yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, oh, yeah. okay. So that makes me an 18. That if makes me if a sure. Yeah, plus 28. 10, sure. That makes me a 28. 28, 17, 35, 28. Another 28 is 53. Yeah, Matt is. He got a 24. He got a 24. That's 53. That's 77. And I'll, I'll cap it off with a four to bring us to 80. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> you see him like dangling off the floor. You need a phaser bulging in your head. Oh, oh, you need it for me. The five of you. <laughs> Simon, or the four of you are struggling. Five of you are struggling. Four of you are struggling. And Simon comes over and goes, Ah, oh, I, I got this. Oh. And you can feel it pushing away. And you can then just slide it all. Or you can stand it up if you want to stand it up toward the wall. Yeah, I think we should yeah. probably put it towards the wall. Yeah. Yeah. It is standing up toward the wall. Struggling to get your perch as you dig your fingers underneath the crevice and then suddenly heave and it releases this seal of cold, stale air. It takes a bit more effort to stand the lid up, but eventually you do so. Inside there is an ornate wooden shellacked casket. Shellacked. It's just shellacked. I don't even... Uh, Open it up. It's like polished like a layer of... Yeah. Um, also, probably your thing equivalent. You want me to crack it open? Do it. I'll take my axe and I'll bring it we down. Lift, and... We lifted this whole lane. Well, you know what? We should leave your axe. We should just open up. <laughs> yeah. Why is my? Maybe it lifts maybe off. Maybe it just opens. <laughs> it just I mean, opens. Do you want me to use the hammer then? I don't understand. <laughs> why? Is there? Do you not want me to do this? Well, you just we'll I just smash it. it. <laughs> Don't smash it. You might break whatever's in I there. I smash it. <laughs> it's right. just like I'm digging into like a, opening yeah, up a crate. It's smashed. You know. You smash right in the center of it. Uh, no! no, 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 no. Like, on the, like on the side, like like you were gonna pry something open, oh. like like smash the axe. That's why I wanted to the axe side in. So you smash like into like a corner, like into an edge, just like in. Pry it open. <laughs> okay, you can see that it's like breaking apart at the edge. It's almost like using a. A, a, an axe is a can opener and you're like chopping away at the edges of it it looks like it, you've crushed it enough that you could easily you grab at this point rip it off it, <laughs> it tumbles to the side and to the extent kind of splashes into three feet of water and it's like a little mini boat floating off cracking the seal the smell of death comes wafting out inside is a corpse of a human male the seal broken and finally exposed to the air even as you look at him, you note his features collapsing. As his chest collapses, you also note his fine black wool clothing, trimmed in fine black lace. His bony fingers lay on his chest, expediting the collapse. On one finger is a silver ring with a large silver spider on it. You recognize it immediately. From my dream. Well, also in the mirror. Yes, oh, and whoever saw it in the mirror. Hey, what's that. this here? I'm gonna reach down and grab the ring. Okay. Pull the ring off. No! Slides off. What's that? It slides off of his, his hands. Give me 10 minutes. Like I can try to magic and see if it's magic. I'm as bad as it fucks. I'm just holding it up, kind of looking at it. <laughs> Sizing it up. What do you think this thing does? 
Definitely doesn't fit your hands. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> what does it look sure. like? I mean, it's just silver with a spider? Yeah, it looks like a large silver spider uh, made out of some type of silver or metal. It's a finely crafted you guys spider. give me a few minutes, I'll throw it to Tech Magic out and see if we can find it. See what if anything else is in there. Oh. I'll go. You know, I'll start my ritual. Okay. I'll, I'll hand it over to him. Okay. Anything else that we see in the crypt? Not in that one. Ooh. All right. These other ones look like they, uh, I mean, the other ones look like they uh, have anything in there. Well, well that one, one that ends is that We could get that open. And what about the one that's closest to us right there? Damaged. But we haven't looked at it. Okay. You yeah, haven't really looked at the, the other okay. three. I'll go over to that one that's closest to us and push it over. Well, we're going to pause there because I think it's going to take a little bit more than a couple minutes to get through those last three. Uh, glad you were able to show up. Welcome yeah, back. Sorry, so they, thank no, you. please. Uh, hey, what you were doing is probably far more important, important than what we're doing. <laughs> those those events come and go, and you will yeah. mm-hmm. regret well, exactly, missing yeah. them later in life. Yeah, um, uh, so well, Luckily, no more baseball games on Thursdays. So. My we kid's do. only four, and I never feel like I'm doing enough. <laughs> well, <laughs> we never truly can do enough. Yeah. But you need me to contact right. the school? Let them know not to do anything after Yeah. <laughs> no more baseball on Thursday nights. Fuck out. Uh-oh. Thanks for the assistance with the intelligence, Tom. <laughs> well, you know, it's interesting. Um, I don't know of a fair way to do that. I mean, I like... You know, riddles I, that's can good, be that's fun, way to do that. but I don't want to just roll a die and say, well, he's got a 20 intelligence, so he gets to roll a die, and, oh, yeah. you, you know, you rolled a 20, so you figured it out. Uh, yeah, it's, I don't know what the right answer is. I'm not saying mine is the right way to do it, but oh, I figured I I I'd give work. you a clue that was, yeah. because I was like, how do I balance this out? Uh-huh. Well, give him a clue. Hey, Maybe the good. first clue wasn't good enough. Uh, going around the table, Mattias. Starting with yourself, what was your highlight for the night, sir? If there was one. Besides popping ninth level before you got here. Whoa, congrats. Um, you're muted. Oh, good. Look at that, and you guys are catching up fast. I was thinking. I was thinking out loud. Mm-hmm. Nothing was important. Um, okay, that's a nice spot. I have to say, um, oh, yeah, I like yeah, the yeah, fact that I actually kind of managed to do some real scar. damage to, to some of those enemies, even if I did get knocked out twice. Oh. The fact that I got knocked down to the exact same level of negative, da- of mm. negative damage, yes, I'm using that term. No, I know it doesn't it technically exist in fifth ed, but the fact that technically I would have been at the same level of negative damage both times greatly amuses me. Well, that's, <laughs> yeah, it's, you put up a tough fight, even with a tough armor class. I'm impressed. Um, I, uh, congratulations on making ninth level. That's yeah. awesome. Thank you. Um, uh, so no level difference, Bowen. It's 2,000 experience points, sir. 2,000, okay. Bowen, kind of, <laughs> I'm not sure fully deserving to be No, you don't I, have to. But no, no, no. no. I mean, my highlight is just be, showing up. And finally, and like getting to play just for a little. Uh, bit. I'm glad you're back. So I, was driving, I, I, I was always, I like, always do it equally. Should I, should I you were like? here, so two thousand oh, experience points, sir. Okay, take what you feel is your worth. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> thank you for showing up. I'm glad, glad, glad you yeah, could make I'm it. Happy to be I was here, a little right? worried you weren't going to make. But there was a couple times during the battle. If you watch the stream, we were like, "Where is Bart?" Oh yeah, <laughs> there were some tough fights. They're calling in there. for you. Uh, and know. you know, because I kind of. In, in, you know, it was DM. I plan based upon... You guys, if you don't know, I do a lot of very detailed planning. I do sit down and I kind of war game. That's why I'm always checking stats. and th- I kind of war game, like, w- what would happen if this? What would happen if this? How many actions does yeah. this side have? How many actions does that side have? So I don't just do CRs. I don't like CRs. I do kind of like war game the scenario. And so when I war game it, I'm thinking, Warren's going to be there. <laughs> And I'm like, oh well. <laughs> you know, I, I started like I left the game so late. I left the game at like nine, and I'm like, you know, I could just not go. But then I was just like, yeah, but I want to go. Even if like, even I show up for twenty minutes, I'm like, well, I'm still glad twenty minutes. It. I get to play D and D. I'm like, you know, I'll take it. So, I'm glad you made it. Yeah, I'm glad too. you made it. Morton, what was your highlight, sir? I just liked you know the combat and just using everything Morton has to keep people up, doing damage. <laughs> 
uh, aiding them as best as he could. It was just a lot of fun. It was fun feeling, very useful. You were you did some you did a couple besides the fairy fires that one where you blasted all three the, the shatter shatter one yeah. time you got that was pretty devastating on all three of them at one time and, and then the healing was really nice and I don't think they would have survived without your healing <laughs> no nope. nope. yeah that healing kind of helps that uh, so yeah I mean I if I was there I could have healed oh yeah yeah you're punching <laughs> you slap get off <laughs> yeah you healed me a couple times <laughs> yeah. Uh, you are seventh level. Yep. And you did. Thank you for the adventure. That was a really great adventure oh, log. Thanks. And the hooks. Um, uh, I know. I um, we didn't. It didn't go anywhere tonight because this was all in here. Um, uh, oh, by the way, this so far has been my favorite adventure. You really I, interesting. I really enjoyed this one. Well, Google the word Nebenabentur. And <laughs> so uh, I knew that you were going to be away one session. I knew you were going to be at least late, or maybe away for another section. So there is a there is a method to my madness. Mm -hmm. right. So, because you guys are very close to some place, and I didn't want you, like, well, we're here. Oh, well, let's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We made it to where he needs to go. Yeah. 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 Well, well, he's not here. Let's well, leave. Yeah. Okay, we're on our way to France. Yeah. And then he shows up two weeks later, four weeks later. Hey, guys, whoa, we're in France. We, <laughs> we blew past Germany. Man, we missed, <laughs> missed, missed, missed the stop. We missed the train station. <laughs> we, we, we just... We just, Germany doesn't exist yeah. anymore. You guys it's just suck. kind of a, a very thin one-inch line. Oh, good. I'm back. I'm back. Uh, so, I mean, this was, uh, I just made this up on a fluke. Uh, well, I'm glad you liked it. Um, I'm not a big dungeon crawl guy. I'm not a dungeon crawl guy at all. I like the outdoor, but I'm glad every, I'm glad you liked it. 30, if I got this correctly, uh, 3,450 on experience points with your level difference. That's a lot. That's a lot of XP. I think I just dinged 20 yeah. level. 30,000? No, no, congratulations, 3, man. 3,000. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3,450. Ooh, that's good. I believe. If I calculated that correctly. 2,000 for tonight, 300 on your adventure log, 150 for your hooks, and level difference of 1,000. Right, right? Pretty good. Yeah. Not bad. Uh, Ryan, what was your highlight? Uh, my highlight, like, same as you, I'm not really much for dungeon crawls, but I did enjoy this, and I really liked oh, the man. whole getting to really use that new sentinel log, will you? It felt I mean, like I had a lot more versatility instead of just swinging a hammer around, so that was cool. That sentinel <laughs> feet pinned those, um, uh, I don't like to let my secrets out of the bag, but they were going to fly into the mirror and heal themselves. <laughs> so you... Pinned them in so that cool. room. Yeah, your, your feet was nice. Yeah. That yeah, like, feet. I, it definitely it gives me a new ability with being a tank. Now I can just also keep them there, which is cool. Yeah, I mean it's a double sided, it's a double sided yeah. sword because I mean it also means they're stuck on you. Yeah. But, but yeah, so that worked. I liked out it. Really, really well. That was actually that was really, really cool. Um, Two thousand on experience, sir. You're, you're, you're like. I'm three thousand. You're less than away. away. No, you're hundred away. Sixty-four it's five. A, no, it's sixty-four thousand. I think is the next. Level. Yeah, but I show you. I have you at sixty-one three eighty-six. So you should be at sixty-three nine eight three three eighty-six. Wow. Oh, uh, next session, dude. I'm three thousand. <laughs> next away. session. Oh. I'm three thousand away as next well. Next session. I'm okay. Away. I'm glad you had a good time, Jess. Zyman, what was your highlight, sir? I I think this is the first week I haven't been unconscious. <laughs> that's that's what what not without the so, that, so that's a, that's a plus, and uh, yeah, not dying. <laughs> Figuring out the riddle, working that twenty. Yeah, hours, man, you did really good with that too. <laughs> you did. You hit some of those right on the head pretty Finally. good. And did you like that riddle? The riddle? Yes. It was the riddles. Some oh, yeah, riddles are really good. Riddles They're cool. cool. No, I like, I like, I like riddles. A lot. We needed to break the first riddle seal. And I'm totally fine with being like, like stumped by yeah, yeah, that riddle like, ball. Then we understood. <laughs> I'm a, I, I, I have two minds about riddles um, because I'm a, you know, um, I'm not necessarily good at solving it. You know, I'm, I'm DMing, so I, don't, I already know the answer. But so I'm like torn because it's not. I'm a ten intelligence guy trying to solve. A real. And if somebody was to say to me, if you were to say, well, you know, I'm a 20 intelligence, yeah. you know, why are you giving me such a hard real? I'd be like, well, it was written by a 10 intelligence yeah. guy, with yeah. all due respect. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, um, but you do have a point in that riddles are being solved by the real person, the real people, as opposed to being solved by the characters. The actors, yeah. And so there's a, 
And it's like that's why I was trying to come up with yeah, a way you gotta, to you gotta find balance ground that it. Works. And I don't know what the I think that worked well. The perfect yeah. answer is, yeah. but I hope that was fun. Yeah, it's like it's basically like uh, his intelligence is granting him insight into. Yeah, into, that's the I best. That was nice. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, it worked. Yeah. And then Brian, Brian was able to pretend like it completely broke him. <laughs> he goes, I don't know how I figured this out, but and you oh, did. it hurt. Uh, it worked. <laughs> oh, 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 clean. Oh, oh, your name. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> 4,000 on experience points, sir. Woo! 4,000. Uh, Is it ding? I don't think you're dinged yet. Yeah. I don't think it. 16? Eh, I don't know. I think Maybe. 14. Yeah. Oh, what? I well, 14. Is it 14? Is it? 14 sticks in my head, but I might be, not be right. It's, uh, I don't remember. Yep, 14. Oh, you got it. Nice. Woo-hoo. Very nice. Huzzah! Huzzah! Everybody, thank you for watching Seven Sided Dies Carpathian Adventure. Again, we would like to thank Sirenscape for the use of their audio sound effects. There you hear some of them in the background here. Huzzah! Huzzah! That's www.syrinscape.com. Thank you, artists Yenu and Silky Noir, for the terrific character art. Please patronize them by the at symbol Yenu Draws on Instagram, at symbol Yenu on Tumblr and Twitter. And patronize Silky Noir on DeviantArt. Please comment in the Twitch chat room on Instagram, on Mixer, on Facebook, and on YouTube. While we do this strictly for fun, please let us know how we might improve or improve the stream. Lastly, please follow us on Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter. And please like on Facebook and YouTube. Please subscribe on YouTube. I think we're up to 226 subscribers on YouTube. We have... 300 and almost 380, 390 followers on Facebook. And uh, Twitch kind of, uh, we're thrilled that we're at about, I think, over slightly over 100 followers. I know that's not like um, Pokey, what's that woman's name? Pokemon? Oh, yeah. It's not, we don't have Pokemon's million followers, but we're <laughs> thrilled that you 100 plus people on Twitch followed us. That's, that's Pokemon. awesome. Pokemon. Uh, I think her name is Pokemon. Please subscribe on YouTube and technology froze on me. Thank you for watching. Have a great night and roll a seven-sided die. Play some Dungeons and Dragons!